Welcome to the Blind Way Podcast. Oh, hello, and what's up? Hello. What's up? We have a full crew this time. Yeah, it's been a, been a while since we had a full crew. Yes. Uh, t- two full weeks, I think. Well, and we had to skip a week. Yeah. So yeah. three weeks. Three weeks. Mm. And now they're back, and better than ever. Mm. Hello. Mm. I mean, what a great drink. What? what kind of drink is it? Nothing. Uh, so, how was everybody's week? I wanted you to say <laughs> it in Shane's face. No, I ain't gonna do that. That's vulgar, Calvin. But what it was is good. It? I had a good week. Yeah. I went to vacation. Went to the lake with uh, my cousins, my and my in my in my family. Uh, it was awesome. We saw the new Jurassic Park. We no, jet skied. No. We swam. We made a fire by the lake every night. One Wait, day, you went camping? Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Scared uh, me. Sounds we, like camping. We stayed in this log cabin. Oh, okay, that's good. That's camping. Oh, no, log cabins are okay, Rick. Okay. That's all right. It's different. It's well, a house. Was there internet? But the... No. That's camping. We had our phone. <laughs> we had our phone. <laughs> I have my phone, so yeah. Rick, that would mean like traveling in the car would be camping. Yep. <laughs> Rick, that doesn't work. You can't just travel in the car and that's considered camping. <laughs> like you're just stuck, you're just driving somewhere. Yeah, it's the worst. But a hotel. I mean, like... Is a hotel camping? Hotels have internet. Maybe not they, all of them. Maybe they don't. Sometimes you every internet, them. every one I've ever been in has had internet, even if it's been dial-up internet. That's true. Well, I mean, yeah, for their like card systems and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, but not for I the hotel. Does a, does a micro hotel have internet? Dude, I was at a in Marietta when I was working uh, pipeline. Sure I was down in this now. crappy. I stayed there many times. I don't think it does. I was down at a crappy. Maybe you stayed there recently since the oil and gas industry has come through because they've updated a lot of stuff. Why like would that, you stay in a hotel in the town that you live in? A lot of reasons. Change right? things up, Rick. <laughs> well, you, just, you just need a, a lot of reasons, Rick. You just need to get away. <laughs> but no, whenever I was down in Louisiana for oh, pipeline you ask work, stupid ass questions, Rick. <laughs> we, I was in a hotel that just it had nothing, like, and we were in it for like two months in the same hotel room. It was terrible. It was in the middle of this crappy nothing place. I don't even know what. There's a hotel. It was like they built this hotel for the pipeline. That's the only reason it was there. <laughs> is this hotel? That's what I did here. No, yeah, but there was a. It, was, it would have been like if you built a hotel. In Whipple, <laughs> you know, or Lowell, that's, that? or oh, worse, Lowell Hotel, you know, Bond. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. Like it was in the middle of nothing. A there was a gas station. That was it. And then I had mm-hmm. to travel an hour to go to some place that had like a GameStop or a, maybe even a Walmart or some kind of like store. Otherwise, it was, right? was a gas station. That Sounds was like it. a hellhole. It was terrible. <laughs> Sounds like a Lowell. So, so every day. So is that why you hate camping? Every day on TV. My dad would watch stuff for a little bit, then he would say I could do stuff, and I would play Rock Band the 80s. Or not Rock Band, Gu- Guitar Heroes the 80s one. Oh, and I didn't have yeah. a memory card. So I would just start from the beginning of the game and play oh, every song shit, and unlock man. them until I was done playing. That's how you got I, good at the game. And then you just have to do it all over again the next and day. I do it again, yeah. See, that well, sucks, see, man. When, that's terrible. If, you, if that's what you think of as camping. For me, I think of like that's hanging, like out, hanging out with my friends around a fire, telling, like having the deepest conversation I've ever had while grilling mm-hmm. awesome meat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Making, Gro- making cup, growing meat, grilling, grilling. Yeah. Okay, sorry. And, grilling. and making cupcakes, stuff like that, man. Make yeah. grilling. Cupcakes. Yeah, you I get the powder cupcakes, grilling. you put them in oranges, yep. and you put them on the fire. Yep. They just cupcakes. Puff up. Yeah. Cupcakes. Remember, like cupcakes. five or six years ago, when the power was out for like weeks. Six days. That was the worst camping of my life. Yeah. <laughs> I was in my basement. That's terrible because you're stuck inside. Where it, <laughs> I was camping in my basement. Electricity just off. And there's no <laughs> fires or nothing. There's, oh, there's no oh there were fires. Not. What I'm gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I have to go camping this weekend. I'm not looking. You forward. have to. You're yeah. being forced to. I, why? Why is there two what? blue pins in here? What do you mean why? Why do you have to? Because <laughs> of family obligations. Is, uh, I enjoy well, camp. I, I enjoy. I, I, I would have wanted to camp with my family. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, Shane wants to camp like alone, like Bear Grylls. <laughs> Why? Well, then go to the zoo. There's something romantic about. It. There's something romantic about camping by yourself. I've only done it once. Romantic? Yeah. Okay. It's um, good work for it. Okay. And uh, but camping, you know, like I've camped with my family, and, and that that is fun, like my immediate family. Yeah. Uh, and that that's fun, but like my three year old, that it's not as fun with her. I mean, why not just lock yourself in your basement and play complicated war games for ten hours? Do you think that'd be more fun? Rick, there's no internet that's down there. So much fun. So I'm saying it's camping. <laughs> uh, but uh, <clears throat> you know, and camping with my friends, you know, while fishing, making fire, making hot dogs. Aaron and I never went camping. Does, does you guys are the most unusual people I've ever met? <laughs> <laughs> does, well, just like the way you tell me how you grew up, like you never did anything, never went anywhere. You just played games with Rick in a bedroom. That's that's pretty accurate. The I best guess. life. Yeah, I mean, like, I, my... like I did that in more. <laughs> 
<laughs> some, some of my great memories is like camping with us. Like, made, like when you had like, like, thirty of your class friends. Yeah. That we all went camping. You had like a, a little village of thirty of tents around yeah, campfire. Like, like what we did one time, yeah. I, I remember, is I had some of my friends from Mary to come and some of his friends from Fort Fry, and we did this multiple times. One in particular, I think we went to your place. And we had like three different fires, like a cooking fire, a communal fire. That's where you met your wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And a communal fire. Yeah. yeah. My mom out in the woods in Whipple met my stepdad around a campfire yeah. drinking. Actually, she had to drive him home. A campfire is a very, <laughs> very, <laughs> very rewarding primal feeling for for humanity. Oh, when you're sitting there just looking at that fire and you smell it, just yeah. the cracking of the wood. It's uh, I love camping, man. I wouldn't want to do. I wouldn't want to live out there, but yeah, I just I, I could do shit. it every weekend, probably. But then I want to get back. I, I could, yeah, probably. But mm-hmm. I wasn't always shit though. Does uh, like we used to go to Senecaville, where like we had a a trailer and stuff, in a lot. <laughs> Does that count? We would like have a trailer fire. park. Kind of. It was kind like of we good. did that for a couple years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we lived there and no. mom yeah. said we were camping. Yeah. No. He, there's always gunshots, alcohol. When are we gonna go home, mom? I were going there and there's this tiny little trailer and we had a deck built onto it, and then we would like cook and do stuff over fire like, on a like big hot grill? dogs and stuff oh, fire. and then like yeah we'd have a fire not a grill we okay. just had like a fire we'd roast hot dogs and stuff on I'd have we, to say that's did, luxury camping that's we different. did have like a little stove thing that we did like breakfast on I think maybe inside mm-hmm. I can't remember because I remember doing eggs but it was just a tiny little thing there was a tiny TV and that's the place I remember first watching um, the is it The Quick and the Dead with Gene Hackman and uh, yeah uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and, and that's my favorite western yeah. it's the only and, western I really uh, like Russell Crowe yeah. Yeah. I mean Sharon Stone. Stone I feel like yeah. camping a is a slap in the face to all of our ancestors <coughs> who over humanity's entire thing that was they, life <laughs> the whole thing has been to get us as so far away from camping as possible and yet yeah. we're going back It'd be like having a weekend for fun, like slave holding or something, right? <laughs> you, it's like we're past that now as, as humanity. I mean, these men had to fight wars and died, and you play them as board games. Yeah. Slap uh, in the face, right? Mm, but I okay. learn about their struggles. Oh, okay, we don't learn anything when we go camping. You learn about the struggle of the people. Yeah, yeah. We learn how to do that. Start fire without matches. <laughs> yeah, have, have like you done that. Like I, I know for I, me. I mean, I've been taught, but I've never personally done yeah. it. Like out the. I have started it. fire without matches. No, you can't use a strike stick thing. That's, that's God damn it, Cal. It's not matches. You didn't even change it. <laughs> you did. Ah, <laughs> didn't work the first time. Rick didn't. Rick didn't change it. Right I didn't even bother. For me, when I went camping by myself, like I, I feel like I, I want to be one with nature and God. Like I feel like when I'm at my house, I try to pray. I just when, because there's I'm, there's a ceiling there and just a computer, and I feel like my prayers are bouncing off the ceiling. <laughs> you know, I feel like. You know, for me, like, I guess I look at the Bible, people went out far into the wilderness to communicate with you. You're like the opposite of a dwarf. Instead of always having a roof over your head and getting nervous outside, you're the opposite. You get nervous inside. Or guys that build churches to pray in. Yeah, like Mr. (laughs) Mr. Echo. Yeah, right. Like, for me, I feel like I always wanted to go far out and experience the elements in 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 the world. Not the, maybe, not necessarily the harshness of it, but maybe, maybe a lick of it. Well, then why did you stand and wait until it stopped raining to go to your car? I had my iPad Yesterday with me. when we left, like I stood outside. I was like, well, I ain't going over to my car until this dies down. And Shane like hit me with the door because I was standing in front of the door. trying. And I to you open the door and tap you. <laughs> yeah, tap me. I'm like, oh! <laughs> it's like the last thing you, you expect for a tap. <laughs> like I had my, pretty much my back to a wall. And someone tapped me on the back. <laughs> I'm like, how did he get out. there? He, 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 he opened the door and went like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so yeah, we were standing out there, and man, it was raining so hard. Like as soon as I finally, we finally stepped out. It's like you jumped in a swimming pool immediately. That's how wet you were. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, like so I had to go. My, so my car's farther. My parking spot that I paid for is farther down in the lot. Yeah. No. So like when you're running no. through it, you're running through like a four-inch no. puddle. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so. Like my when I stepped into the street, my entire <laughs> foot <laughs> up to my ankle was in water. Yeah. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> yeah. and I was driving home and there's these. Like these, like foot. You know, even across the street, and shit. like damn it, Shane, damn it, this is terrible, Shane. I can't run, I can't hustle because I have flip flops on. It's, I don't want to be the guy that's fat and wet and false. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I yeah, can't be all three. Any any two of those things is acceptable. I know all three is yeah. <laughs> socially unacceptable. I don't know why you saying that made me think of uh, it was it Eric Wright. There was a time yeah. at high school, and there right. was like a back trail between like some of the buildings that you could t- follow, <laughs> and it was iced over. And I actually saw this with my eyes. Because you can fall on the yep. ice. Remember that? Yep. And then like he got hurt, and I think they were wheeling him around on like a 
chair. Yeah, yeah, like a desk chair. Like a desk chair. Like Like an office chair? They brought it out, and he was laying there on the ground, and they helped him up, and they sat him in it, and they wheeled him to the office, and then an ambulance (laughs) came like 15 minutes later. Jeez. (laughs) Because he broke his tailbone. Oh, man. He fell in pretty hard. That, that's always terrible. He was a big kid. He had oh. a lot of force on the on the fall. Yeah, and plus they landing right, right on your tailbone. <laughs> they did. It's like one of the most painful bones you can break. I've heard. One time we After went, the femur. One time we went camping at my house. It was, uh, it was with Matt Waite and Bobby Jeffers. It was near an old junkyard that we had. And we, we didn't have like a grill to put over a fire that we just made. Mm-hmm. So we went down to the junkyard and tore like the grill like, off a car. Uh, yeah, we no, we took like a hood off a car, put that over the fire, and just let it heat up. Let it heat up and just put meat on it. You mean like paint and everything <laughs> on it? No, I don't think it had paint on I think we stripped the paint off. Okay. From yeah. a, but it was like bare car? metal. Did we strip it off? I don't remember. You were there. I don't remember this. You don't remember this? I remember a lot of stuff. I don't remember this. Well, the hood of a car? Remember. Yeah. I mean, was it I got junk- memory from junkyard? back then, man. I got good memory from back then. I mean, I, was like I'm not making this shit up. Something? I didn't dream it. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't doubt you did. I just yeah. don't know if I was there. No, you were definitely there. Did you use like navel uh, jelly or like a sander or something? That was the same time that Matt Wait or somebody rolled into the fire at night. Like we had the fire still going, and oh, like, Matt did. Yeah. Yeah, and he rolled into it, and you were like sitting there, like looking at him, <laughs> watching him. <laughs> just, what? Watching him burn. As he caught fire. <laughs> I, well, I remember. As he caught fire? What kind of fucking friend <laughs> like, are you? He like, he like rolled it into the fire, and Shane said that he's sitting there like kind of tired, and then looked over, and he saw him in the fire, and he's like, huh. <laughs> For like a while. I could see Shane doing that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did he wake up from the pain? Well, I don't remember. Wait, he rolled into it asleep? Yeah. One yeah. of the first times I met Matt Wade was then. I don't even know if I was friends with him yet. Yeah. We're, not, we're not sleeping in tents? Um, we had you guys one tent. And then we, we took the cars was, and drove them up and just slept yeah. in the cars. Yeah. There was like six people, but we had like a three-man tent. Yeah. So like, I got in the tent. I'm no, deaf. You, I have to get well, in. Well, I'm not. you were both people. <laughs> I I use that as such a disability for everything I'm in life. Deaf. <laughs> <laughs> one time in particular, I remember, uh, it was towards autumn, okay? Yeah. And I just remember being half awake, Zach was half awake, and you were so fucking cold. I remember like, you had your bare back against me. Yep. And like, I remember I touched it and it was ice. And yeah. you're like, I'm so cold, I'm gonna die. <laughs> that was the time. And I said, you will literally die. You said yes. Then I woke up the next day, cold as hell, and the blanket was gone. And you were in the car with the blanket. In the <laughs> car with the heat on. You fuck. With carbon oxide blowing Dude, everywhere. Ask anyone, a sleep Eric is a different person. That's true. Different. That is he's, true. He's very I've witnessed it. I remember, yeah. I remember whenever you'd be snoring or whatever at like Ohio Con, and Shane would slap you to get you to stop snoring. Yeah. And you would get me like, what? What? <laughs> what, Shane? Yeah. What? I can't be and reasoned then, like, with. Sh- Shane would just pretend he's asleep and just yeah. ignore you. <laughs> and then you would just like stare for a second and then lay back down. <laughs> and not remember any of it. No. There was one time we went camping, I think down in the, in the woods by my house. And we woke up in the morning and you or Zach described it as like, I woke up. Like, I, like you guys let me sleep in this puddle that formed oh yeah and like i was like half into the puddle it, like this oh gosh yeah. oh my it, gosh like, you know and I, I woke up and i was like oh uh, <laughs> 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 it rained over, it rained. i was like waterlogged and like oh uh, it's like you had drooled so happened. much <laughs> like it rained overnight and it like went into the tent and it pulled like it was like, like we, were, we were we were apart you pulled under your, your head the bottom of it and like a pool of water was filling <laughs> like it was like, <laughs> So, so you woke up like you're sleeping in a swimming pool. Like, what the hell? <laughs> it was terrible. So <laughs> like you fall asleep in the tub. You could drown. I mean, I know. Funny. You drown, and then like, it, and then you just keep sleeping in, and, and the sun comes out, and dries everything out. But your dad, we don't know why. <laughs> you guys bury me, leave me. Don't leave. Don't tell my dad. I, I remember when we slept in front of the field for my parents, which I barely yeah. call camping. But what it was is we just had a couple of tents, and Andrew Husk and Phil Husk came. Oh, the Husk boys, the and giant they, man. And I only know you were there that night. It was okay. a night that Matt Hawkeberry yeah, left. Yeah, because the Husk had his van. They had a van, yeah. 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 And it's a night that Matt and Ludaflave left, <clears throat> and they messed up that car, and they got yeah. arrested. Yep. <laughs> and I, so one night I said, boys, I know these things. You shouldn't go. Yep. And they went. Like, fuck you, Shane. You're going soft. <laughs> And they went and got arrested. Yep. Yeah. All right. That was a good time, too. We still haven't covered the favorite part of the week. I'm doing camping and how terrible it is. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> no. From no. a certain point of um, view. Probably camping with my family. No. Yeah, that's where we got uh, it. Yeah, that's, you said it that's where camping. we started. Well, now from. I'm calling it camping because I didn't have internet. <laughs> <laughs> Log cabin. Uh, Technically, I'm camping here because the data on my phone has run out. <laughs> 
I just don't have internet. Suddenly, on my phone. You know, people camping. will be ashamed of us. <laughs> <laughs> you mean camping? Just here? twenty yeah. years ago, <laughs> just life. Twenty years ago, they said, you know, I don't know ashamed. if they'd be ashamed. They'd probably be like, "You have that all the time, and you're complaining for the twenty minutes you don't got." That's it? what I'm saying. They'd be ashamed. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like because both of my sad. fathers who love to oh, hunt, yeah. fish, and camp are ashamed. Yeah. Well, yeah. Are you ashamed of them, or are they ashamed? <laughs> They're ashamed of me. Yeah. Yeah. Like that boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, my favorite part. Both of work on cars and stuff too, right? And it was like, you were like, mm, I don't know. Yeah. Cars. <laughs> I got to change the oil. <laughs> Where's that? Is Where's that, that a knob inside? <laughs> what was your favorite part of the week? <sighs> my favorite part of the week was a close encounter. I would say. Aliens. A, a discovery. <laughs> so Aaron might have saved my life this morning. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Uh, he streamed. Um, Detroit. Detroit. Detroit become human. Become human last night. Yeah. And whenever he does, he fucks up my setup back there. Rick, because right now, Rick, my, Rick has these blue headphones here, <laughs> and like it's just plugged in, and the wires just like wrapped around the chair and it's just like, laying exactly all the, the way I places. wanted. And I'm like, what? I even said to it's Rick, how, I'm like, I don't know what the hell Rick does with these. They're even always just even so I just these un- headphone cables. <laughs> like, can you lift that up off the floor without getting like six other cables? But I just not knots in it. I, anyway, I just unplugged. <laughs> I'm like, forget these. And I just unplugged them, tossed them to the side. Yeah. That's exactly the way I want it. And so I get in in the morning, first thing, and I'll have some music while I'm working on the website or whatever. And I have them on, and I hit play to my My Hero Academia music to get me hyped for the day. Nothing comes out. So I take you, off the headphones. You head- say run? Yeah, oh, of course. It's a great song. So I take off my headphones, and I examine them, and I realize there's a spider. Inside the ear cup, the ear cup, <laughs> in, the le- oh! <laughs> in the left side, yeah. And I'm like, Holy crap! Because I, oh I, my God. I just would have had him in into it, crawled inside or bit me, or something <laughs> crawled inside <laughs> you. Yeah, dude, yeah, you. There's, <laughs> there's a video uh, you can find where a guy he goes into the hospital complaining about ear pain. So they have one of those little cameras on the end of a stick, like you know, trying to like they it's like an endoscope, stuff, right? And then they go around the corner, and around that corner is this cockroach looking thing that looks at the camera and goes. Goes back into his, ear, his head. Thank you, your doctor. You and, the, and the doctor's like, and it holds it for a bit. And he's like, and then it goes back out. <laughs> and then it like cuts and it goes back and they have tweezers. And they've like killed it somehow. And they start like tearing off its legs trying to get it out. Uh, yeah, it's it terrible. Like, it takes like half an hour to get this fucking thing out. That's they take it's it huge. It's like this fucking big. They take it out in pieces. Like, like this. Yeah. That's fucking terrible. I don't know where I heard this story before, but they were playing softball or something. And someone had like a, a boil on their head. And the softball hit their head, <gasps> and it burst open, and a bunch of spiders came out because oh someone had laid an egg gosh. in their forehead. Shit, that's fucking terrible. I, I've I've seen videos where like there's like some kind of bump on someone's skin, and when they cut it, and just like bugs yep. come out of it and shit. My Fuck mom that. was uh, we were outside, and like there was like a, a moth, and like it disappeared, and then for like a week, she said that she kept hearing like fluttering sounds and stuff, and she oh, went to the doctors, man. and they pulled the moth out of her ear that had been like stuck in Fuck. her e- ear. Your like mom. she, she thought that something happened. She didn't know. And then she's like, I think it's in my ear. It's like it, it feels weird. I, I keep hearing, to... I keep hearing these noises and What's... stuff. It might not have been a week, but oh. I remember. It, I'm I gonna start to sleep with the earmuffs on. What's the worst thing that they could pull out of my ear that's caused my deafness my entire life? Uh, <laughs> like an Oreo cookie. <laughs> 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 the worst, Aaron. <laughs> that would be pretty bad if, if you fell asleep in a, in a tray of Oreo cookies and caused your own deafness. Like I, it'd be the worst because every time you wanted a snack, you had it the whole time. <laughs> it, yeah, well, no, it would be the best because we found out that, like, human ear canals can preserve, preserve food for fucking 25 years. What, you would eat years? it? Someone said it, yeah, hearing aid. Yeah. <laughs> hearing aid <laughs> caused your deafness. Oh, my gosh, that'd be crazy. Right? Yeah. I dropped this. Oh, man. Back to spiders for a second, though. Sure. My mom was an arachnophobic. Yeah. Like, so she passed that shit on to so you. So she loves spiders like, terribly. She well, wanted to bang spiders. It's been passed on to me a little bit. No, but no, like, that's an if she would see one like at the house or whatever, yeah. whatever was within reach, like she would grab vases and shit and just toss them at him, like break stuff. It didn't matter, right? She had no control over herself when there yeah. was a spider. Well, one time she was upstairs and I was in the basement and I saw a spider egg on the basement wall. I was young. I didn't know how to deal with this problem. Sure. So what I called my grandmother because I knew I could not tell mom about this. Yeah. yeah. Or we would have to move. She'd burn the house down. So I called her and she was like, just take it outside. <laughs> Jeez yeah. Louise. Yeah, that's Ugh. funny. Dude, she's, she's worse with spiders than I am with needles. Yes. My like cousin, Jamie, 
before he went to college, when I was like 12, mm-hmm. I remember he fell asleep. I mean, we were in his room playing video games. Yeah, right, you guys gotta get out. We're gonna go to sleep. And we saw this, he's like, by the way, there's a spider out here somewhere. And he, what, what happened was, earlier in the day, he saw a spider and he threw some at it. <laughs> and it fucking fell. And he was looking for it forever. And he could not find this fucking spider. And then, and then he woke up, like, early in the morning. Like, what the hell? And there's this, and I remember, <laughs> yeah. he went downstairs, oh. and there was a, the size of a tennis ball fucking on, on his thing. elbow. It was like, you motherfucker. It bit his ass when he was asleep, and then, we had to go, then he went to the emergency room. Should have thrown shit at it. I had a wood spider <laughs> on my leg in the shower once. Really? I was naked and afraid. <laughs> That's like a movie, <laughs> Naked and Afraid. That's a TV show. No, I, I, uh, there was one time I was getting ready for, uh, for work, and sometimes whenever you're, you, you know, you finish it for the day, and you go take your clothes off, and you're like, well, I'll wear these jeans tomorrow. Yeah. So I just toss them over in the corner. Like, I'll wear these jeans tomorrow. So I wasn't, like, pulling them out of my drawer or out of, off, out of like, a hanger or something like that. So I grabbed my jeans, and I was going and getting ready. And I put on my jeans, and, like, all of a sudden, I just feel something really cold on my leg. <sighs> so I just slapped back my leg. I just started slapping it. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm just standing ah! <laughs> And I'm ripping off my pants, just taking them off, just slapping my, like, my, my, like my high leg area, just slapping it. Like your, your thigh? Yeah. Like, like almost your ass? Like below the butt cheek. But, you know, like below there, just slapping there. And I'm ripping off my pants and I throw them on the ground. And I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, it's something in my pants. <laughs> you know, it's not supposed to be there. <laughs> so like, I'm, I'm going through it, I'm like, like looking, like I, I examine them, I can't find anything. <laughs> I can't find anything at all. I'm like, maybe, maybe I'm crazy. Yeah. I'm looking, so like, I start, I start with the bottom and I start rolling carefully the legs. Just like rolling them up higher and higher, and like nothing. Yeah. And I can't find anything, so I go to the next one. But like you're squeezing the last bit of the toothpaste. Yeah, exactly. I, I, so I, I find nothing from one leg, and I go to the other leg, and I start rolling it up, rolling it up, and then out of like the top part of the pants, just spider just falls. Oh. Like the size of this can top. Oh Jesus! Was it alive still? Oh. Huh? Yeah, it was still. Alive. Oh. Yeah, it jumped out. It, I didn't kill it. It was still alive. It just didn't bite me. I was slapping my ass trying to stay alive. <laughs> 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 Fuck, dude. Like, seriously, right now. Melanie's just looking at me in the kitchen like I'm a fool. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? I'm just sitting there. Ah! I'm fighting for my life, bitch. <laughs> like, right, right now, who feels itchy? I feel itchy all of a sudden when I think about this kind of stuff. Really? Do you feel itchy? I don't. No. Because I have low empathy. Do you really? know what makes so, me? Like, when you I feel don't, itchy, but I don't if I see it. one, I will feel it. I feel itchy, itchy right now. You know what makes me? Like, if someone you talks about lice. You feel itchy makes me itchy. Yeah. Now. When someone talks about lice, I start getting like. Like, oh, man, my head itches and stuff. Like, I fuck, do I have lice on? Oh, no. Cause, like, someone mentions lice, or it's like, oh, they found this at school yeah. or whatever, you know? Like, I hate, hate it. One of the evolutionary um, <coughs> uh, theories of why we're ticklish is that we can detect insects. Insects, sure. yeah. 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 One of my mom's friends uh, had this woman who was just a total bitch to her for absolutely no reason. She just, she just hated her because I guess she was good at her job and it like highlighted the fact that this woman was bad at her job yeah uh-huh. so was it my mother no okay <laughs> no, that's a terrible joke <laughs> i love my mother she was great <laughs> <laughs> no um but uh she worked at this uh i think it was a, a bank or a car dealership or something like that like very like fairly proper office setting and she would just sneak up behind her while she was working on her computer and she would take one hair and she would just spin it like that just a little bit and she'd be like like that. And what then, the hell kind of? How old then, is this like, woman? right next to it, she would do this again. She was like forty-five. Like just to get at this woman. Yeah. I've met some petty women, and then mostly like she convinced her that she had lice, <laughs> and she went through this whole like regime of like trying to get rid of these lice and stuff. Why don't you just get checked? Yeah. <laughs> no, she yeah she did like all I mean, you these. You comb them out. All these uh, things. She was so. Who was it? Pizza. She was so convinced Sweet. that she had lice. She was ignoring these negative tests. It's like, I have lice. That's I keep terrible. telling them tickle me. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, that is awful. <laughs> That's terrible. Is that Sam? Sam Wise? I don't know. No, um, I doubt it. Maybe it is. I don't know. Might be. I don't know. But yeah. We'll I, find out. I, think I, did, I had something else I was going to say, and I can't remember what it was now. Me too. Well, I know, I know one, I, a couple things I want to say. I know for me, I like some of the scariest things in fiction is the idea of these giant spiders pulling pulling grown men like into their like web or into well, like holes. Shilob. I was, yeah, I was like Lord of the yeah. Rings or whatever, right? Sam! <laughs> hey, hey, what's up? Hey. How you doing? Come say hi on the podcast. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Bet Sam has some good stories about these guys. 
Oh yeah. Uh, I sing on the same <laughs> You should tell some of them if you hey, want. Hey, have you heard any of our stories on the podcast? Hopefully not. <laughs> so Sam, I'm not from, sure if we talked about it. Yep. Sam from Doughboys is delivering the pizza. Yeah. He's he's giving it to us on the house. Yeah. Yes. Nice guy. Awesome. Thank um, you so much. Make sure you guys, yeah. Doughboys the, is the best place to eat pizza if you're. He in was the boss of several people yeah. Yeah. The, at this table. The place yeah. that. Next day, I'm gonna go to Buffalo. Oh, dang. Oh, okay. Thank well, you. Thank you, so, thank you though, Sam. Thank you so much. Not ethics in general? Watch over the work. It's a little different. You email to me at blindwaveproductions at gmail.com and I'll read them out. You always get any shit of these basketball teams I don't root for. You know what I mean? Hey, thanks for the pizza, Sam. Thanks, man. Thank you. You need to come back on the podcast. He said he will one day. All right, right. man. We'll see you. All right, All right have a safe trip. Have a safe out, trip. Man. Safe trip, man. Peace out, man. Got a bunch of drinks. Oh, oh damn. Holy shit. That's awesome. No, uh, she is pure leaf tea. Root beer. Root beer. Back, oh, back oh, in the past, man. Eric worked there for I don't know how many years. Five? And yeah. then uh, I Five was well. there for about six months to a year, I think it was. And then uh, Shane joined I was in there shortly for about after I was three. there. Three. Three uh, years, two or three years. I worked there, yeah, almost seven years. Shane was there far greater than his ability and worth eth- ethic should have allowed him to be. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Sweet Team Mountain Dew Pepsi. I'm, I'll tell uh, you what, I'm though. Good. The good. people who come through here, like, I don't know how, they continue working. Like, you know, I, I hated the job. I wasn't great at it. <clears throat> but there's guys who we told before on podcast, you know, who just wouldn't get tipped. So they would leave the pizza box open so it would get cold. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Stuff like that. I mean, the thing happens whenever you get into, like, food and stuff like that. I think I did the minimal kind of amount I needed to do. Yeah. I, I don't think I did less than that. I, I did the minimal amount. When, when, when I was sure. with Little Caesars and stuff, like, you had all kinds of different people that was like, they probably oh, wouldn't get hired anywhere awesome. else. But there's oh, also not, so the best people aren't usually coming to, like, work at Little Caesars. Yeah. They're trying to find somewhere else to go, you know I mean, I mean? You, you worked at Little Caesars. I, I did. But I was also he's 16. saying he's a rare exception. Oh. I was also 16, 16 wanting a job, and I kept trying to get up there to that manager position, and I kept getting closer and closer, and I left and did pipeline work. By the way, guys, if you're ever so in, much more money. If you're <laughs> ever in Southeast Ohio, yes. Doughboys is so damn good. It's so yeah. good. I'm biased, but it's so good. It's good. It, it's it, I mean, it really is it's the best crust, though. If, if anything, think. you should harbor resentment. Yeah. You know? Right. Well, I mean, but it's so good. Yeah. You still love it. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. My, you know, my Uncle Sam, he worked at another pizza company for oh, years. Oh, it's a great story. He's got his entire life, you know? But he decided to open up his own place in his hometown, you know? And then I worked there for about two years, like a little after he opened it. Then we opened another one, and I worked there for two years. Then we opened another one, and I worked there for two years. Like I would kind of like go yeah, to the new that's ones right. and build it up. And then eventually, you know, he was always so cool about like scheduling and was like, "We're working on your videos, okay? Go work on your videos, oh, you know." Like, that's awesome. and, and I'd be like, you know, it, it was it was always really great. He was always really supportive. He's really great with like uh, like kids in college too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really cool like junior awesome. and stuff. stuff. You got any? Uh, I got but, barbecue here. Do you got any buffalo? Man, it was like it's the, one of the reasons Blind Wave is around is because he was so cool with scheduling. Yeah, you know, yeah, for sure. So. Yeah, it, it, if there is any way we can hook up Treat Stream to them, we'll, oh my god, that would be so great. We'll get it figured out. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, definitely. Maybe yeah. I can write my own API. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. We'll see. Um, speaking of like following, damn, it's good. Yep. Uh, relatives. Look around. at all that ranch. Uh, mm-hmm. It's ranch and cream cheese. Are those the bobs? Yep, that's Bob the, wedges. That's boy oh boy wedges. Boy oh boy wedges. Well, definitely, definitely you something you have to recommend. I have not. What is it? It's wedge. potato wedges with cheese and bacon. That does not look like it fits my diet, Eric. I'm down to 173 pounds. Well, now you're going to be 175. You almost weigh as little as I do. I know. Why the hell are you doing that? That's scary considering I puked up like five pounds in California. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I will try a bite, though. That's that's huge. What? Just that's, take a bite, give it back. It, this is more than I eat in a day. What? You're full of shit. <laughs> I want from eating call it something more else. than that. You live like that on the fringe, like that. But Look, you can't. He he tore off a little piece <laughs> on the end camping. that he touched. Because it's too much. <laughs> Rick, I said take a bite, give it back. <laughs> I'll eat it. Take a bite right. and pass it on, Rick. That is delicious, though. Now uh, you were saying about relatives or something? <laughs> oh, just no. him like following his uncle around reminded me of the opposite. I was a very sick child, and my family was like probably overprotective of me. Mm-hmm. And so my grandmother uh, was a cook at uh, Warren High School. When I started kindergarten, she moved to that school to be the cook. And then when I went to middle school, she moved to that school to be the cook. Really? <laughs> Whoa. Protective of you. <laughs> yeah. Cool. 
That was kind of cool, though. I thought you were going to tell a story about Regis or something. Like, <laughs> what kind of story? I don't know, like duct tape or something? <laughs> well, I don't know. Regis, Regis was a very interesting man. Regis, I, I do need to tell more stories about Regis. He yeah. was a great man, and I, I took Calvin Your for mm-hmm. my great uncle, yeah, yeah. Um, to the hospital um, for like a checkup sort of thing. And I hadn't been to the hospital since the day he died. So gotcha. it was kind of a rough memory, you know? Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I will definitely have to bring some Regis and, and some pictures as well. Um, oh, yeah. Because, yeah. A, fu- a funny guy who couldn't be more different from me, but we were still mm-hmm. very close. Yeah. Right? <laughs> because he, he, he was basically like... He was it, huge on, like, hunting, made his own bullets. Made his own guns. What, really? Own, yeah, yeah, he made his own guns and stuff. Yeah. yeah. L- like, like, he was an actual, like, Daniel Boone. L- like... He was a professional trapper in West Virginia for a good part of his young life. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I don't want that one. That's yeah. like two of them right there. <laughs> That's like two. Wait, Dude, wait, one wait. time for Doughboys, you know, they have some of the best chicken wings. Oh my gosh, they really do. But the, the guy we get them from, one time the chicken wings that were coming, because you get them by the pound, like, you know, you buy them by the pound, the weight of them, not like how many chicken wings are in a box. One time we were getting these chicken wings, I'm not kidding. They were like this fucking big. They were turkey. They were gigantic. Yeah. And we like they were so expensive for us because you know you could get like three orders in a box in one box. You know. Yeah. And you know Sam obviously you know had to call and get it, like all that stuff worked out. But I remember being like I can't believe this exists. It's so great. It's so <laughs> amazing. Like ostrich. <laughs> but like for like a week there was like, man, Doughboys has the best chicken wings in town. <laughs> you know you guys yeah. see those things. I'm like I'm sorry. Best chicken was a mistake. wings in the state. That that amazingness was a mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> we can't offer how great that is. Well, now I think officially this is, might be the favorite part of everyone else at the week who hasn't gone yet. Yep. I was going to, yeah. <laughs> I looked into the future as I saw. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I thought I had something else before, but I also enjoyed last night I had a Detroit Become Human stream. Mm-hmm. And it was about 9.45, and I was like, guys, I might end and, you know, stop. And they were like, you're almost done. Just finish it. So I finished the game. <laughs> I was up, I think I streamed to like 12.30 last night or something like that. Yep. Yeah. I can't remember, but... They've been yeah, telling right, that to right me for The Witcher 3 for the last 60 hours. Like, oh, you're almost done. Just keep going. Just finish it, Rick. <laughs> but uh, the gameplay was really good. Um, I enjoyed the story and everything. We got to the very end. And I think because of, like, one decision I made at one point, everything was going good, and then everything went really bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so everyone's like, you may got the worst ending. But yeah. I saw another ending uh, after I got home. Melanie was messing with stuff. I saw another ending that would have been worse. I oh, saw yeah. that. I saw when you went back at one point, and you were like, "Well, that's stupid." <laughs> like another ending. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was like I was like, "I do I hate it." But no. It's, it's difficult just... to believe from what you told me about your ending last night that there was one worse. Oh. We're all good. We're all good. We're all good here. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, there are some. Uh, like it shows you flow charts and stuff of your story and decisions you can make. Yeah. I have like two or three that are completely grayed out because I didn't make other decisions previously uh, that would have led me to those entire flow charts, which were different, like, mission things. So, like, a lot of replayability. Yeah, so there's more things I haven't done. So, right now I'm in the debate of I'm either going to stream alternatives that I haven't done for the game or I'm going to start up Life is Strange. Because oh, I haven't done the prequel or Captain Spirit. Yeah, previous oh, saves. So oh, oh, shit. Oh, I can go people, through the flow chart sorry. and choose spots oh, okay, to load okay, from and choose. do it from that. Yeah. That's, that's really cool. I remember I play when I was younger. Oh when I played RPGs, God. Yeah, I used to have multiple save points. Rick, did you do this? What? And yeah, play, yeah, you yeah. Play I like Final Fantasy. Or, oh yeah. And you have multiple save oh, points just shit. so you can relive that part again. Oh, definitely. Eric? I'm sorry. I Back then, consequence wasn't as big of a deal, but just in case. I was, well, well, I'm at the Gold Saucer, so I can go on a date with Tifa yeah, or Aerith. So sure. I made sure, to like, well, case of story repercussions, I'd make two save files. Definitely. And like, you know, some of that stuff you didn't know until after it was over, so you have to do it in the second playthrough. But I'm trying to think of how many games that have alternate endings that I've actually played through multiple times. I can only probably count it on one hand. I can think of like Chrono Trigger. There's multiple, multiple endings in that. Yeah, it had like 10 or 15. Contra Shattered Soldier? <laughs> <laughs> well, so there's games like Dragon Quest Eight, which has like a true ending, and Persona 4, which has like a true ending. Like... I wouldn't necessarily count that. Yeah. Necessarily, but like actual branching paths. Uh, Silent Hill 2, I've played through a couple times and gotten different endings, but not very many. Did you get that alien? Did you, did you ever do that flying saucer thing? The alien thing? In Contra? In, no, in si- Silent Hill. Um, I did it in um, the, Wii, the, the Wii game. 
Is that the one you're talking about? No, so, oh, okay, no, in Silent Hill 2 for the PlayStation 2, there's all this side quest UFO stuff, and then you can get this alternate ending out of the credits. There's that in the Wii one as well, and I did do it in that one. Oh, mm. I didn't know that. Um, that's neat. That's a great one. It is. You know, I used to treat games like, uh, do you guys ever read those Goosebumps books where it's like Choose Your Own Adventure? Mm -hmm. I had Transformer Choose Your Own Adventure I did a Ninja Turtle, I, I had a Ninja Turtle book like that. Yes. yes. Whenever My I would read those, I would always like fold corners as I'm reading. Sure. Like, I gotta come back here. And then I'd, I'd make a decision and then read it. Yeah. Because sometimes like, there's some of those that it would only be like 20 pages and the story's over because you messed up or yeah. you chose whatever. And then I'd go back to the last decision I made to see what the other one took me to. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. I would always work back there. To see uh, what else I could have done? There's a really funny. Uh, when did you stop reading, Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry, go ahead, Eric. There's a really funny uh, review that Jeremy Johns, who we saw at E3, by the way, um, he was just like over, like well, he was over point. there, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. we were saying, hey, that's Jeremy Johns. Oh, okay, we can go over to his. I was like, who? But, we have. but <laughs> anyway, he's a he's a movie like, oh, reviewer. Okay. okay, he did for Solo. Where it was a review for everybody. No matter what you thought of the movie, he yes. made a review for it. So like he starts out being like, you know, there were some people that didn't like this and people that mm -hmm. really liked it. If you didn't like it, click here. If you did like it, click here. And he has like a bunch of different webs of going out so yeah. that you get the oh, review I saw this. that matches your opinion. Yep. It was really funny. <laughs> I've That's seen that. Funny. But he kind of did it as like a satire thing because everybody wants to hear their own opinion in a review, you know? Mm -hmm. And if they don't, there's something wrong. You know, so. I'm surprised I haven't dug it out and read it to Evie yet, but my grandmother wrote me a Choose Your Own Adventure story. It was oh, me. What? Yeah, it was me, Casey Gosselet. She wrote you? Yeah. I hate that kid, man. Yeah, it was me, Casey Gosselet. God damn, I hate that kid. And Wesley Zoller all, Zoller, like, yeah. went to the Lost World, basically. We, like, went to this cave, and we went, like, to this dinosaur world, and we had to find our way out. Mm -hmm. And it was a Choose Your Own Adventure book. Like, you know, you, do you want to do this or this? Turn to this page or this page. And it was awesome. That's amazing. That's yeah. super cool. Maybe I'll read it on the podcast next week, because it's pretty short. <laughs> and we can choose our own adventure. Yeah. That could be a lot of fun, actually. Boy, oh boy. You know what? Remind me. Keep bringing it up, but I haven't had Doughboy's Pizza for a very long time. Because once you're working somewhere, like, I ain't, I ain't eating that food again. Well, and also, like, yeah. you know, we get Papa John's every week, and you don't want to have pizza too many times in a week. No. Yeah. You don't. But, you know, it used to be like... I had pizza every day because hey, someone didn't show up for this pizza. Oh, sure. hey, I don't, I don't pay for dinner tonight. You know, I just have a pizza. Yep. I haven't had it for a long time. Yeah, that's the only time we had pizza. I think I've cleansed my palate of Doughboys. boys. <laughs> it's yeah. so good it's now, right? It's been like years now. Yeah. Damn, it's pretty good. It mm -hmm. is really good. I, yeah. love, I love the pepperoni, but it's a small pepperoni, you know? Yeah. And they, like, curl so up and hold all, all the oil. And oil. And yeah. 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 There's a great series called Lone Wolf, which mixes Choose Your Own Adventure and, like, a Dungeon Dragons RPG kind of thing that you play yeah. by yourself. It's a lot of fun. We should do one of those maybe too. It, it would be fun to do some okay. Choose Your Own Adventure stuff on the we podcast. We should do mm -hmm. some DCC. On choose the... Our Own Adventure there. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that, that should be coming back. <laughs> yeah, I should let you guys actually make a choice every now and then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Calvin, did you have the best thing of the week? Um, I don't know. There's nothing really sticking out to me. Um, I finally got over the the stomach illness and everything completely yep. back to total 100% normal now so that was good I appreciated that um, so did we you yeah. you won a match Friday right when we were doing Smash yeah I did well, we, we won a couple yeah yeah that was that was a lot of fun yeah I, mean, I forgot we... about that <laughs> <laughs> I guess that is technically part of this podcast week yeah, yeah. it is yeah um, <clears throat> yeah that was a lot of fun yeah, we're all picking up new characters, so it's kind of the right time to get in. Yep. Right? Because mm -hmm. we're all learning together. Yeah. Again. Because yeah. I oh, actually wait. have a little bit of a chance. Someone apparently knows this area. Doughboys is pretty good, but Smitty's and Jukebox Pizza is amazing. Oh, yeah. Who There's the hell is on here? Nurse Brian. Okay. She's mentioned before that she's in the area. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Uh, well, yeah, we're picking up new characters in preparation of the new Smash game coming out. Mm -hmm. Because Smash is going to have every character. Shane, you weren't here last week when we talked about E3. Uh, no, but, it wasn't. Uh, but playing Smash Brothers and stuff, like we got we got a little bit of a taste of it. Yeah. And the announcement of like what there's going to be 65 characters in this game. 66, isn't it? 66. It yeah. depends if you can count Echo Fighters. <laughs> Thus far, uh, that's true. Yeah. And Pokemon Trainers. No, I think like Pokemon three trainers characters are, in one. Basically, Pokemon Trainers counting counting as one. Counted in there, I believe. Oh, as three. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, damn. Okay. But uh, with there being so many characters, and our crew is only so big, we've been looking at trying to 
pick up and be proficient with several characters mm -hmm. so that we have a bigger familiarity with fighting multiple different characters rather than just knowing these four or five. Nurse Brian is giving a shit. She? LOL, because I'm a nurse, I'm a guy. <laughs> I was, was going to say. Tell. Sorry about that, nurse. When you said she, I'm like, could, could be a dude. Who said she? You did. Damn it, shame me. <laughs> Greg Falker. Shame. Greg, Greg Falker. I've seen that. You have. <laughs> oh, now you know. The other day I said something that, oh shit, he hasn't seen that yet. <laughs> I, that was a hell of a scene. Like, I, I've seen, like, people have a bell and, like, shame in, yeah. in Discord before, is the emotes and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was like, I thought it was a Hot Fuzz reference. Oh, yeah? Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Because, like, you know, when they're in the grocery store and stuff, and, like, there's stuff shooting around, and the fat guy is like, shame. Nick Frost. Yeah, yeah, Nick yeah. Frost is like, it's like shame. <laughs> you say something when you knocked him out, like, cool off or anything. <laughs> like, no, shame. Yep. <laughs> That's what I thought it was. Funny. Yeah. Nope. So. But, shame. I'm you... going to be caught up soon. I'm halfway through season six now. Mm -hmm. Yep. You will be. So. Yeah, yeah. Not too far. Shane, with you being here now, what was your favorite thing from uh, E3? Because you didn't um, get to actually talk with us about E3. Yeah. Um, honestly, just hanging out with you guys in a hotel playing Smash. That's my favorite thing. It's getting away. I love my family, but sometimes it's cool to get away with my dudes and play Smash. You got to eat. That's my favorite thing. You can't do that camping. No. <laughs> we can when the new game comes out. You can't win the Switch, baby. Yeah. I'm, I'm bringing my Switch camping this weekend. <laughs> they, they can't stop me. <laughs> How long ago did you buy your Switch? Was it when you found out that you were going camping? <laughs> no, it was a little before that, actually. But, oh, yeah. you know, in, in case, because Maggie loves all that outdoor shit, and so yeah. does Evelyn. So yeah. I knew... You just figured you were going to get roped into yeah. it at some point. Exactly. I gotcha. I can't tell you, like, since Evelyn's been, been born, I've been fishing more times than in my entire life previously. <laughs> well, I think that's cool that she likes that, honestly. Sure. Yeah. I do, too. And, like, I love seeing you her know, happy. You, 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 you have to realize you are a little flawed. <laughs> hey, hey, no, but the mark, the yeah. mark of a great father I had to. is that he's, he's going. He, yeah, you're going. You know? even exactly. You're, yeah, and that's good. Uh, in terms of what else? <laughs> like, I mean, if I had a kid and they like Star Trek, I'd be like, well, you're not my kid anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm bad. For I'm me so happy, though, that she's starting to play video games now. Because, like, with Super Mario Odyssey, like, every time I come home, that's what she wants to do. And, like, she plays the hat, and then she gets bored and wants to play as Mario, and nothing gets accomplished. And sometimes she'll play as the hat and be awesome. But then she'll get bored and keep the hat away from me. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm trying to fight the bosses. I can't do it because I don't have the hat. I just run around like Evelyn. She's like, ha ha, can't catch me. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, oh shit. I mean, anyways, uh, I have so hanging out with you guys is cool. <laughs> hanging out with Gus, obviously, our dude Gus. But just playing Smash Brothers, uh, you know, I was anticipating the hell out of playing that thing. And for me, after I played, which was so exciting because like, I realized how much I'm going to love the game. Like the weight of it feels good. It's fast. Um, it seems to have a lot of I have, viability. I have to cut in here because mm -hmm. I'm not going to save it for the vlog because I'm editing the vlog from E3. You know. Mm -hmm. Yep. One of my favorite things from this week was discovering this clip, and it's you're <laughs> playing for honor. Oh, or you're, no, you're playing some other. You're playing some game, and I, I'm getting a shot of you, and you mess up. And you go Gus, Gus, and Gus turns around and looks, but he doesn't realize that you're not asking for Gus. <laughs> right. Or, Exclaiming, <laughs> damn it, Gus! You're taking Gus's name in vain. Do I notice him looking at me? No. <laughs> that's, so, that's so. Here's good. Gus. Gus. And Gus turns around and looks at what? He, he's kind of far away too. It's so. Yeah. It's got one of those, so by the way. Well, he's gotten like, you know, he was so used to it for so long, but he's he's been away kind of for so long. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's forgotten. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, there, there's just so much. I mean, E3 was all good. Playing Resident Evil 2 was amazing. Uh, I mean, going to uh, uh, play, you know, Smash Brothers on stage with you guys was cool. Just, you know, it's been my dream forever. I finally got to do it, so that was cool. Yes, yeah, Eric is putting in quite a bit of extra hours editing the vlog footage. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's taken a lot longer than I thought it was. It's over six and a half hours of just the footage from our camera. Yeah. That's not including like, any extra footage from people's phones and stuff like that. I'm like, at this point, I'm like... 90% through it all, but then it's I just gotta, you know, take that six hours, make it like, you know, a boring six hours until about a 40 minute really yeah. awesome video. Mm -hmm. So, I, I definitely, I wanted to be able to do it myself the first time just to try to establish, like, you know, because we have editors that like a baseline. help us out with that kind of stuff, but I generally like to be able to, this is what I want, you know? I mean, didn't you do Star Wars Celebration yourself? Um, 
Or was that someone else? Uh, Celebration was more of a podcast style thing, mm -hmm. and we did, and, and we just we had one of our editors kind of just like throw in some That's of the true. stuff. But we didn't get nearly as. Much no, you're right. I remember now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shane, some people are wanting to hear the donut story from your side. They don't think that we. Why y'all be telling donut stories behind my back? <laughs> I mean, it's why you. Spoilers. Why are you going camping? <laughs> 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 What men do? Um, I mean, well, well, I mean, I don't, I don't know how to describe the story. Start. From I would just like when to know we left from the hotel. Mainly your mindset of like, I'm gonna buy. I'm hungry. I'm gonna buy these donuts. I'm gonna buy seven of these donuts. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take them into a place where there is catered food. Mm -hmm. Like, well, my mindset was I was really hungry. I want to get something. I want to cross the street and get some tacos. These guys said the wait. And eventually, they get real hungry. So, of course, then they want to go eat. And they go to a place I didn't want to go to. Uh, no, we went to the bar. The guy said, just go down, yeah. have a drink, yeah, and, and I, come back And I wanted to get something else for food. And then we get there. We're there for a while. We realize there's no way we're going to be able to get there on time if we eat, too. Yeah. So, we like just so I said, God damn it. That's why I don't want to go. So I just... Well, and the, I mean... So at that point... There is food I, at the place. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you have to understand. And I say this all the time. I know that Shane doesn't love it, but no one suffers like Shane Farley. That includes hunger. Hunger. Because, I mean, at that... Because I, I guess for me, I just decide I want to eat earlier, and my idea was shot down <laughs> until these guys decided they want to go eat to a place that... No, we didn't, we, didn't, eating. we didn't go there to eat. We went there because there was nowhere else to go. Yeah. There was a taco place across the... The street. Yeah, but we weren't. I don't think we went there because we were gonna eat. I was. I was under the impression we went there because some guy said, "Hey, there's a bar down there. You know, a bunch of craft beer. You yeah. gotta wait for 40 minutes anyway before you can even come in. Go so down there, just, come back. We don't eat just before you drink. Waste time. You don't have to spend as much money to so get we drunk. We went there and we're like, well, maybe we can grab a bite to eat while we're there. Well, before that, it was let's go there and get some food. And of course, Gus definitely want to go there because he loves craft beer. Um. And then I knew there was a donut place next door. We walked by it. And I saw it, and I'm like, holy shit, I think that's the place that J.J. Reddy talks about his podcast. It was on Andy, uh, on, uh, Andy Bourdain's No Reservation. I looked up my phone, uh, my shitty phone that barely worked, and it was. So I said, I'm definitely going to go there, get some donuts. It's, it's, and I did. I was like, well, I better get some for these guys, because they'll probably want some. You looked at me before you left, and you were like, I'm going to go look at that donut place. Uh -huh. And I was like, all right. Look, but you don't, probably don't want to get anything. I don't think you said anything like that tonight. I literally did. Yeah. I remember looking at you being like, when you were down at the other end, the Calvin in between us, I think Gus was on the far end. Yeah. But, like, I remember you like, I'm going to go down there and look. I'm like, all right. And then you came out. Next thing I see, you coming out with seven donuts. Yep. I don't know why. <clears throat> I, and, and then, uh, I and that's pretty there. much the story. Except, except Aaron complaining about the donuts. Well, and that was really about it. And the, I was the, thinking, the story, just don't, and I was the story thinking, just don't thought, say anything. The story that I thought was funny from my point of view, because I wasn't with you guys at that point, was that, you know, I was kind of working to get you guys into this very exclusive, very kind of classy <laughs> place that, you know, normally you had to have a dress code. You can't walk in with tennis shoes and stuff like yeah. that, you know. And Shane walks in with a plastic bag, get a plastic bag with like six individually wrapped donuts, sat at a table, popped them down, took them out and started eating, you know. It just... In context of the situation we were in, it just seemed extremely inappropriate, but it was also a Shane Farley thing to do. Mm -hmm. So that's what made, what made me allow laughter after the fact. Later. Uh-huh. I remember being there being like, I don't know why he has donuts, I don't know what to do. But now, no, now it's like a silly, like, yeah. Shane brought donuts into a club yeah. where the dress code is no tennis shoes and all this kind of stuff, but it wasn't that for the time. It's, it's, it's like one of those things that happened to you, and you're like, ah, well, make a good story after. And it was a great story. That was the best part of that podcast last year. <laughs> thing that, uh, last week. Last week. The thing that made me laugh at the time is that he miscounted how many people were with him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and how many donuts to buy. <laughs> That's also pretty good. I got, I got seven donuts, two for each of us or something like that. No, he said, I got six donuts, and they gave me another one when you buy six. So I got two for each of us. There's four like, of us. There's four of us, Shane. <laughs> Eric, if you counted him, that's five. I wasn't, count, I wasn't counting Eric. I wasn't, just, I wasn't counting the ones I ate when I was in there. How many did you have in there? Well, they gave me a bunch for free, and I'm like, well, put this in there, too. You said you bought six, and they gave you one for free. Well, I tried, like, four when I was in there. Shit. You ate you were, four while you I were was in hungry, there? And then I ate more, and then I ate more food than anybody when I got there. I, I was know. hungry. It didn't spoil like, anything for me. You didn't eat more than I did. Are you sure? Uh, upstairs, I think, I think me and Gus ate a shit ton. I think I ate more. 
I went upstairs you to where the too busy mingling, trying to be social. I definitely yeah. ate. I went upstairs to the night. VIP thing where there was nobody in line, yeah. and you could just grab as much as you wanted. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I ate up, I ate up there. <laughs> Had like tacos and quesadillas. It was good. A few times. Mm-hmm. Set up there and eat, and I went through the line two or three times up there. There's a VIP. The VIP. Did you go up there, Shane? Not once. Not once. Oh, oh the VIP. Yeah, at the end yeah. of the night we all did. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was I was gonna say you guys. Were I remember having a picture me. up there of like it was like me, Calvin, and Eric. I got a little drink that night. We all I got d- a little drunk. Got a tad bit. Yeah. After like ten to fifteen drinks. I mean, I'm a lightweight anyway. It took a lot of drinks. Like, I drank a drinks. lot, yeah. and I didn't. Yeah, I, I definitely didn't drank get... more than I have in a long time. And I wasn't even as drunk as my bachelor party. And yeah. I drank more there than I drank at my bachelor party. I think. <laughs> more <laughs> drinks, but yeah, I, I think you're also older. You I think it's no. Went... I think the alcohol was. I yeah. think it was watered down. <laughs> Honestly, I think it was really watered down. I think. I think it wasn't as much alcohol in it because I figured I would have been much toastier. <laughs> like you. Sh- if no, you had had eight real drinks, I think you would have been more destroyed. But it was also it was an open bar, so yeah. So you have to understand that they were trying though. to save that Miami Vice tasted t- tasted good. That was my, my favorite Dude, one. The, the guy downstairs <coughs> gave you the big oh, glass. He yes. was the he was the he, he was the man MVP man. He was over there. I was watching. <laughs> he was over there like doing stuff, shaking stuff. Watch out, Shane. Your mic. And like flipping. He was like flipping stuff and catching it and whatnot. I was like, oh shit, man! Look at this. This guy's like Tom Cruise. And then Calvin looks over and he's like, from what? I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, that's right. From cocktail. Tom Cruise from what? I've never seen it. Like Top Gun, Calvin. I've never even heard of it before that night. I was like, how do you know Tom Cruise? I know Tom Cruise. From cocktail. I don't like him, but I also don't know many of his movies. You don't like him. I hate this man personally. How can you not like him, though? I hate this man personally. <laughs> Just... <laughs> With all the crazy people in Hollywood, you don't like Tom Cruise. He's known to be one of those dedicated... <laughs> Working you guys. have to give him the props for the, the no, insane I, I, amount of stunts he does. I do. And the, the Last Samurai is one of the best movies ever made. And like made. the people who work with him, who think, who think they heard that he's a prick, they say he's the greatest guy to work with. Yeah. It's, it's mainly the sign, Scientology, I imagine. Yeah, but so is yeah. John. You know how many Scientologists there are? I oh, yeah, don't know and I don't particularly care. That does, like, that's, not going to, Volta? that's not going to change my opinion of him I'm based just, on how many other people... That are also Scientology. I'm just thankful well, so Scientology. What do you hate about him if you haven't seen a lot of his movies? I am curious. Like, I what? have seen a lot of his movies. I just haven't seen that one. Yeah. You, you said fine. a little ago you haven't seen a lot of his movies. Well, I don't, okay. okay. Besides that, what reasons do you not like Tom Cruise? I just Personally. Too damn pretty. I don't know. I just get this this weird feeling from him. I, I just don't like him. It's emotionally based. Okay. I was oh. curious. Well, I didn't say it was like... Rational. Factual or rational. <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to convince you guys not to like him. Maybe you, you have like, like a, him. That's might fine. Have like Tom Cruise phobia, like an irrational fear of Tom Cruise. It's possible. <laughs> I made him too, man. Like, That'd be funny if man, I, that great. We could like hide a picture around him, and it's like when Rick with the with the, the alien face hugger. <laughs> hey, a fear of face huggers is not irrational. That's true. I In guess. any way. Well, they're not real. But if they were, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> if Tom Cruise were real, that would be a I'm just thankful Scientology gave us Battlefield Earth because I love that movie. Yeah, you like that movie? It's, it's terrible. It's awful. Yeah. But it's I love awful. it. Yeah, it's, oh, so it's a... It is a, so it's it's it is a terrible oh, yes. B movie. Yeah. It's oh, one of those yes. The Room kind of movies. Sure. It's and Travolta shot, stars that, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> shot 80% at a Dutch angle. It's only made because of Travolta. Yeah. Because he's a Scientologist. Yeah, yeah. Like Westworld. Wait. Is that movie based on Scientology? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, really? the, the creator of yeah. Scientology is L. Ron, L. Ron Hubbard. Hubbard. Yeah, he was a science fiction author before he started a religion. Yeah. And he's also quoted as saying, like, if you want to make the real money, start a religion. Yep. And he did. And he did. And he and died he made a lot of money. A lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know, I mean, a lot of people give Scientology grief. And if, and if a lot of the, the accusations about, like, some of the, you know, the, the darker things are true, I'm like, well, yeah, fuck that. But, like, if, it, if I just heard, like, you know, oh, well, Will, Will Smith's a Scientologist. Like, well, there's a lot of people out there with crazy beliefs, you know? Sure. Like, what's one crazy belief over the other? Yeah. You know? We need to as long as they're not hurting other people. Of course. But if they are, of course, then fuck them, yeah. <laughs> we should make a religion based on the force. <laughs> there already is one. Yeah. There are, yeah, in the UK, one, yeah. there's like 12,000 people that follow the Church of the Force. Yep. They're like active members of that We should religion. join it. They're an official religion that you can mark down on your taxes. Yeah. We should do that. <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's one in Ohio. I think if we started a blind way religion, it would work. I'm blind with yeah, religion. Probably do, probably shouldn't do that. Stephen Colbert made one, right? Who? Uh, no, it was uh, the a charity. Guy, the HBO. Oh, right, John, John Oliver. John Oliver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I think we we should we should open the Ohio or U.S. faction of the Force Church. The branch. faction sounds bad. I, mean, I tried to do that so it wouldn't come off and didn't branch. <laughs> Dude, we already get this gets you know. 
criticized for our love for Star Wars. <laughs> I don't know if we could add us to being our religion. <laughs> I mean, it would make the most sense. Yeah. No, I mean, you want to get really close. Tom Cruise comes to Ohio once to join a religion. Definitely. Calvin leaves the church. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy series he idea. Off. That's what creates the next, like, denomination. Yeah. Denom yeah. <laughs> He he's make, like the Martin Luther. He fucking nails on our door. <laughs> <laughs> he starts the fucking the code of the Sith <laughs> <laughs> against the Force. Yeah, I think there already is one of that too. There might be. Um. So this uh, came out to the public. Actually, I think it's still broken. But uh, we've released a couple um skits. I guess you could call them. Oh yeah. Within the last week. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. we had a new opening for uh, Black Sails Season 3, which was... Man, that was a ton of fun to watch. Yeah, it was. To film. It was a yeah. lot of fun to film. It's been like an hour doing it. We did? Yeah. Mm hmm Actually, we were doing it... Wasn't, weren't we doing it while there was a repairman here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, there was there a guy was on the fridge. Our, he was fixing our fridge. We, we, had, the fuck ten out. we had the fuck tin out. We had the fuck tin out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we, no with us not having its audio and stuff, really, it didn't matter having some guy of working course. on something. Yeah. So it was easier to do it then. Yeah. But no, that was fun. I enjoyed, I enjoyed filming that, trying to come up with ideas and the gags and stuff that we wanted to have. Oh yeah, there's a couple, there's like five gags that didn't make it. Yeah, it was not enough yeah. time. Yeah, and it was all just spitballed, like while we were doing it. Yeah, like we didn't really have a plan other than the fuck tent. Yeah. What well, the fact of having said fuck tent? With yeah. The yeah. Plan. Sure. I mean, it's like, what are we gonna do with it? I don't know. I don't yeah, remember the, who came up with the fuck tent idea necessarily, but I definitely had the idea, and I, I'm disappointed I haven't seen a lot of comments about this. I don't think people are catching it. Of well, me having I don't the think apparatus. People, I, saying, I don't think. Yeah. I think. I think what happens in the. Oh, I think what happens in the tent takes away <laughs> from them noticing you standing there on the side. Sure. Yeah. So if you guys watch that, watch watch the fuck tent. It's sex kind of getting segment. lost in all the content. Like it's only got a couple thousand views. We need. A, I don't know. Well, put it's, on, it's, it's only every blind wave video it, or every blind wave uh, black sales video. It's also gotten quite a bit of traction on Twitter mm -hmm. compared to <coughs> our normal tweets. Yeah. And it got tweeted back by uh, Long John Silver from, Which the, is pretty cool. from the show. Yeah. yeah, Luke Arnold. Right? Yeah, Luke Arnold. Luke Arnold, he's... I love him in that, love him in that show, man. He's a, an amazing man. Yeah. Not just because he follows us. And not, I loved him before that. Just because he's not a Scientologist, Calvin. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't make it about that. That's, <laughs> not, know, just, that's not why I don't like him. I've specifically said that. I know, I know. Yeah, he said he doesn't know why he doesn't like him. <laughs> There's a reason. Well, I mean, I, kind of I I know why I don't like him. I just can't articulate it. I also, like, unlogically hate Matthew Broderick. What? Yeah. For no reason? Well, mainly because of Godzilla. Mainly because of Godzilla. That wasn't his fault. <laughs> he was good in that movie. Um, yeah, I think he was good in that movie. But I hated him so much in that movie. Ferris Bueller? That Ferris I... Bueller. I haven't seen Ferris Bueller. Oh, I love him in Bueller. I, I love Lady Hawk. I hate him in Lady Hawk. Do you love Lion King? Once I found out it was him, I couldn't watch it anymore. Rick, you fool! Really? For some yeah. reason, Lion seriously. King? For some reason, when you first said his name, I thought you said Matthew McConaughey instead of Matthew. That man Broderick. is a treasure. That man is a. I was I was yeah, confused why you brought Rick. up Godzilla. I was like, wait, I know there was another Godzilla movie that came out, but I mean, he must be in it. And then you said Lady Hawk. It's like. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm trying to think who I have an irrational hatred of. I know Eric is a big fan of Kevin Nash. And, I, and he's in Magic Mike. I don't like... Uh, which also has Matthew Brown. Uh, McConaughey. I don't like Will yeah. Ferrell, but I wouldn't say that I, I hate Will Ferrell. I sure. just don't... You, you don't typically like his movies. I don't like a lot of his movies. Usually I think they're, yeah. they're, they're too... I don't like a lot of Adam Sandler movies. And stuff and whatnot. Yeah, but yeah. I wouldn't say that I hate Will Ferrell. But I don't hate Adam Sandler. But I do hate Matthew Broderick. But that's just because of Godzilla? It's mainly because of Godzilla, but like the tone of his voice, the look on his face, the fact that he's married to imagine. Sarah Jessica Par Parker. Oh, What's wrong with her? Huh? The fact that he That's ran over a man he in Germany and killed him and didn't get any re repercussions for it doesn't help either. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure that's real? I never, huh? I never yeah. heard of that. It's, oh, it's, it's, it's real. It's confirmed. Yeah. yeah. It's when he was younger, like a lot younger. Yeah. Yeah. He was like not too long after Ferris Bueller, right? He was still famous. Or four, before Ferris Bueller. No, no, no. It, 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 it was after. Okay. Yeah, he, he was famous enough to get off from it. Have you seen the producers? I have. Of the musical? And I don't and like that version. Springtime for Hitler? I, I love the Gene Wilder version. Yeah? Which is fantastic. Oh, Gene good. Wilder <laughs> just makes everything better. Oh, yeah. I mean, I that's the original. That. Huh? I can't argue with that. Gene Wilder is fantastic. <laughs> there's, there's no argument against it. I'm trying to have an irrational fate, hatred of Hollywood. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. I, I also hate him in Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget wasn't a good movie. Yeah, it wasn't. No, it good wasn't. To start with. 
But I also hated the second one even more because he wasn't in it. I understand I mean, the car accident yeah. thing, but you said it's mainly because of Godzilla, which has nothing to do with Magic <laughs> It's <Barbie>. mainly... <laughs> it, it is mainly because of Godzilla. But... But you know it's irrational, and you admit it. I still love um, Jean Reno. No, he's Jean Reno is yeah. amazing. So you, you still understand, love him. understand it's he's irrational. He's the best part of that movie. Okay, okay. I completely admit part of that it's movie. irrational. Hands down. See, Calvin doesn't understand that. <laughs> huh? I was like, he's like, I, I understand he's irrational. I said, but Calvin doesn't understand that. I'm trying to think. His irrational hatred of Tom Cruise. <laughs> He's like, no, it's ration. I, 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 I maybe <laughs> I don't maybe ration it. <laughs> Less than uh, Rory. I think I rationally hate Rory. <laughs> I don't know rationally. Rory. Irrationally. You, there's no reason. You just, you just. Well, it's kind of a joke, but I feel like now I feel it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, because like you, I, I try to make it like Toby. think a certain like way. Like I hate him. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who does Lessa have an irrational Toby? hatred of? They're the third guy before I came along. Oh. Before you came along. Yeah. He was still the third guy when you were there. I you're gonna say Rory from what? Doctor Who, and I'm like, huh, I like him. <laughs> <laughs> Rory. <laughs> yeah, the guy that we saw in the. No, no, no. You were in my wedding. Rory wasn't. Right? No, he wasn't. Oh, he, he was there. Was. Yeah, he was an usher. He was, there. he was the other usher with me. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Worst decision of my life. Um, he was, he was <laughs> to have us be your ushers. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> He was, in, he was in my wedding. The wedding in general was the worst decision of your life. <laughs> no, no, it was good. Okay. Um, who does Lessa have an irrational hatred okay. of? I know who I irrational oh, hate. Oh, a lot of people. Who do you irrationally hate, Shane? Okay, in the movie, um, John Q, the health insurance lady. The yeah. Fucking, that bitch with the short hair. She was lying to him. <laughs> the, heart, the heart transplant. <laughs> I hate her. I hate her. <laughs> That's not even an act. You're just That's just a character. character. That's That's a, you hate that character? Yes. Okay. Eric, well, well there has been a couple times where sh- we'll, we'll be watching sh- something. And Shane will be like, that fucking dick. Like when someone new pops up, I'm like, who? He's like, I need another show. <laughs> He's done that before. I, mean, I, can't think of, I can't think of... You don't like, like Kristen Ritter for some reason. Kristen Ritter? He plays Jessica Jones. Every time we, we, like, we would do Jessica Jones, like, ah, I hate that girl. Oh. I don't really what? Fuck. I never... I never care enough to, to dig further. I just know that you know, you've always not liked... I don't care for the type of character she's normally cast as. Really. Yeah. She's very good at what she does, though, so... <clears throat> I don't think I hate her though. Like, not like Calvin hates Tom Cruise. Try to think of someone I hate, or like he hates Matthew Broderick. Try to think of someone mm-hmm. like that. I basically hate those characters. Wolf Ferrell's the only one I can think of that I can kind of relate to, like being and it's, like I just don't like but, his stuff. I don't like him. Of, I don't like him. It's not that I don't like him because I don't know that guy. Sure. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but you personally hate Matthew Broderick. <laughs> I would punch Matthew Broderick in the face for no real reason other than I just have this irrational hatred of him. You're well, that is a real reason. What? Even if it's irrational, it is a real reason. (laughs) Would you punch Tom Cruise in the face? Tom Cruise would kick your ass. He would. He's a black one. He's like like, half your height. He'd still kick your ass. Yeah, Yeah. he is like half my height. (laughs) Now see, Blade... Then you jump out of a plane and hold on to it. I also have... (laughs) I hate Draymond Green. Who? He's a basketball player. He's a basketball player. Oh, He's okay. like a really dirty basketball player, the too, dirty right? basketball player would make people make ah! compilations. See? You talk about it enough, I know who he is and what he does. Yeah, <laughs> that you hate him People for. make compilations of <laughs> dirty plays. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I have not seen the movie Glory, and uh, it also works the same oh, way. Damn, yeah, Glory's Glory. Good. That Glory is so good. good. Yeah, I need to watch that. Such a good movie. Um, Rick, but I also you ha- have seen that movie. Glory? We watched it in eighth grade history class with Mr. Robinson. I remember we watched Schindler's List. We watched that as well. And we he fast forwarded through the boobies. I, I don't remember well, that. But I don't remember That's watching Glory. I'm quite certain we watched I remember it everything that happened academically Boobs in never school. existed in history. I, I remember nothing else. I, I'm, I'm, Maybe I wasn't there that I'm day. I'm 90% certain. Certain. I might have been certain. sick or something. I wasn't sure. And that was half the time in school. <laughs> yeah. not, what are you saying? Not that late into school. But I, I, I'm pretty sure we did. But it's a really good movie. If you don't remember it, you should watch it. I will. It's really good. I What's it called again? Glory. Glory. It, it's about Civil War. Yeah. yeah. It's it's about Denzel Washington. Denzel. It, the, the whole movie is Denzel about Tom Cruise. It's about the Broderick? the first or only like like all black black division. Like yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Division yeah. Of, in in the military during the Civil War. But it's done you. really well. But yeah, Denzel's in it. Yeah. Matthew Broderick's in it. There's a lot um, of uh, volunteered freed slaves and Mar- stuff. Morgan Freeman's right. in it, isn't he? Wasn't he in it? That's who I hate. Wow. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> you hate Denzel? <laughs> I was going to say Morgan Freeman. Oh, How Morgan did you Freeman. Hate Morgan Freeman? <laughs> isn't isn't okay. he in that too? I don't remember. I'm trying to think of who all was in it. I, I know there's like five famous people. I'm trying to think of who they were. I know Denzel was in it for sure. I Denzel know wasn't was in particularly that famous at that time <laughs> yet either. No. That was one of his earlier, like. I feel like, he, yeah, he had to have been really young. But I also have 
an irrational love of some actors. I will love them no matter what they're in. I have a rational love. Tommy Wiseau. So. Bruce Campbell. Tommy Wiseau. So. Bruce Campbell is, I feel, rational. Close. Kevin Costner and yeah. Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell, yeah. Sam Witwer. Oh, mm-hmm. Sam Witwer. Uh, yeah, right. Streamy. Uh, yeah. Tom Welling. Yeah, I, I get that. Like, I don't know. He's only in like one thing. You don't understand. Um, like Sam Wilber, I, I love Sam Wilber in all. everything. Tom Welling is like in Smallville, and that's like it. No, he's nope. A few things. Nope, nope, nope. Mm-hmm. Name two. Um, she rather doesn't too. Yep. What? And um, no one watch that. <laughs> and, Matt, and Matt, uh, oh, uh, with, that's Kevin Costner in it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> he's in a Kevin Costner movie. Yeah, yeah he plays badass. an aging quarterback. Yeah, he's awesome. Man. I like that. That gives him a little hope. Hope he doesn't need hope. He needs hope. You need help. Now, Aaron, you're ball. trying to make me justify my irrational love. Yeah. <laughs> so, you gotta be careful here. All right. Okay. Who else? Who else? Um. For me, pretty much anyone who plays in a Star Wars movie, I always try to follow their career. Zachary Levi from Chuck. Dude, he's good. I love. I him. Uh, I love him so much in Chuck, and I've seen his, like Comic Con, his interviews, just like the kind of outgoing, he, sweet guy he, he is. He was in Heroes Reborn. Like I didn't enjoy Heroes Reborn, but I loved Zachary Levi in it. Like, yeah, I, I mean, and, and it made me follow his career. Like, I follow him on Twitter now and stuff. Like, I have his notifications when he tweets anything. I go, like, like, Zachary Levi, what do you say? You know. See, <laughs> half of me would say, like, Scarlett Johansson, but half the time she's on a redhead, so I don't care. <laughs> she's still hot. <laughs> Especially, you know. You know that's... In your prime. You know a good one? So, uh, it's, it's kind of interesting. Like, I always liked Malcolm Merlin from Arrow. Oh, John Barrow. Oh, right? John Barrow. Yeah. 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 I love that guy. I, love when, I get so hyped when he shows up. And then I watched Torchwood and Doctor Who. And now I've gone back and watched his scenes. And my love for him has grown. It's like flourished. at least twice as much mm-hmm. when I watch oh, This is so fucking amazing. I'm almost mad that wasn't my first like, watch, you know? He's definitely the reason why I enjoyed watching Arrow so much. She, so good. I didn't have Torchwood back then when I yeah. watched it. I just had the Doctor Who times. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it might be John Barrowman. Definitely. He's great. Yeah. Uh, David Tennant. I love David Tennant. In David Tennant and everything I've seen. Every time I see Sam Neill or anything, he's I want oh, yeah. Sam Neill. Sam Neill. Merlin, baby. Absolutely. I don't know. Vin Horizon, was, I, was, I was not as happy as what I feel like I should have been Yeah. for him in that movie. Yeah, that's true. In in what movie? Event Horizon. Movie? Christopher I Walken. <laughs> Walken? Walken. Walken is, is really good. I'll tell you what. Samuel Jackson is great in bad movies, and he's great in great movies. <laughs> he's great, I, I mean, yeah. Snakes on a Plane is the craziest fucking movie I've ever it's seen. such a but, terrible... Crazy but movie. It's good because of him. It is. Yeah. Good they need. Of they him. need him and Sharknado. Have you seen <laughs> Black Snake Moan? Wasn't he? I, I have only seen like parts of it. I've seen clips. My God. He, he's a, amazing. He's in amazing in it. He is amazing. I mean, he's amazing in every t- every t- uh, Tarantino thing. He, he's he's an intense guy. He's amazing I, as fucking Mace Windu. I thought My he was Lord. in the latest Sharknado one. Ooh, 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 Wasn't he? Samuel Jackson. Uh, I don't I think. I thought he was. I don't think they have enough money for Sam. There was uh, well, <laughs> who they have in one in the Piranha movie. Didn't they have like Terry Crews or someone like that in like in one of the Piranha? newer Piranha movies? Sam Neill's in Peaky Blinders. I need to watch Peaky Blinders. Oh shit! A lot of people been asking about Peaky Blinders. God damn it! I need to watch Blind- that now. I need to finish Peaky Blinders. Yeah, that's what chat Peaky says. Peaky fucking Blinders. I've seen two seasons, I think. Is Sam? Oh, have you? I haven't seen any of it. I, I not that I remember or not not. And do you know who Sam Neill is? Yes, I know. Who okay. Sam Neill. We need to watch <laughs> Haven because much. Edge is in it. Edge. You yeah. need to watch what? You need to watch Vikings. Haven. Haven. Edge is in it. The wrestler. We've been watching Vikings. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. I need um, to watch Vikings. Flat nose. Mm-hmm. Flat nose, yeah. Dude, um, Timothy I Dalton. Say, I have a love of Timothy Dalton that everything he's in, I just love. And I, I'm excited to see yeah. him in it. Well, I'm mean, have to say, like, there's big name actors. And, you know, every time they're in a movie, like, the way, because they're so famous, they, the way they select their movies, yeah. you know, it's normally always going to be good. Sure. Yeah. Like, Leonardo DiCaprio hasn't been in a bad movie for 15, 20 years. Right. Because he's so good, he just, he picks them. He picks the best scripts with the best director. Yeah. So that's, you know, He's the opposite of Sean Connery. Maggie Smith. And Nicolas Cage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Kristen Bell. But, but Nicolas Cage is Kristen some Bell. Alan Rickman in general. Yeah. Yeah. Alan Rickman. You know what's weird is yeah. there's a lot of Hollywood actors who'll say, what's your favorite actor? And they say Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Because of his intensity, because of the way, the way, the way he does things. He's... Like, I, I guess, like... He's a better version of Tommy Wiseau. He's fearless as an actor. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, he's Tommy was so with talent. Well, he's, and, and, and he's, yes. very, he's very capable, you know, when he, when he oh, wants Oh, definitely. To be. Yeah. He is. He remembers his lines. <laughs> but no, Kristen Bell, I I started watching the, what is it? This, Veronica Mars? The Good Place or whatever it is. No, okay. Uh, which is like a TV show she's in. Okay. I don't really care for the TV show, but like I want to keep watching more because she's in it. That's yeah. the only reason I want to watch it. There's no other reason. Yeah. I don't really like the story. I don't like any of the other characters, but Kristen Bell's in it and I want to watch it more because of her. 
No, I get you. I, I would also sure. throw Tim Curry out there. Ooh, Ooh Tim, Tim Curry's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah, psych. And Pop he's only been Island. Yes, he's only been in three movies that I know of, but David Bowie. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> David Bowie. The Prestige, Labyrinth, Labyrinth and uh, Zoolander. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fucking love the Prestige, man. It's great. The prestige. Is Milo. This is right, John Noble. John. I, oh yeah. See, I, I first saw yeah. John Denethor. Noble in, as Denethor in Lord of the Rings. Like, yeah. Oh, that guy's the prick, you know. Yeah. Then I watched Fringe, and now anytime I see him in anything ever, <laughs> yeah, he's I'm like, I, yeah. I fucking, I fucking cry. I, I love him so much. Because you're remembering the performance. Yeah. He just... was just a voice. I mean, this is kind of a spoiler, but fuck it, it's so good, I don't care. Okay. Like he's a voice of the bad guy, the main bad guy in Legends, mm-hmm. right? He just he was casted as the voice in Legends. Obviously, they go through time, right? Right. So. In order to try to, like, one of the plans to beat him is they need to impersonate him. And they're watching, someone's watching Lord of the Rings. Oh my god. And they Whoa. hear Denethor's voice and they go, well, that sounds just like him. So they go to the set of Lord of the Rings when it was filmed. Get John Noble. They write up a They write up a fake script what? and have the actor who does the voice yeah. acting for they're the like, bad yeah, guy. Peter Jackson has these write these uh, read rights. You 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 can, read, can you do that? Read this script and they record him doing it. <laughs> what show is this? Legends, Legends of, Tomorrow. of Tomorrow, a DC show, it is, I've which is easily the best to watch show. It. These days. Dude, Legends of Tomorrow is like probably the best of the Arrowverse because they can do yeah. anything. Yeah, like, like anything. anything. What superheroes are in Legends of Tomorrow? Uh, the Atom, yeah, okay. uh, White Canary, okay. uh, Heat uh, Wave. Heat Wave. Uh, we've had uh, uh, Captain Cold. Captain Cold's uh, been in it. You know, the Hawkman, Hawk Girl. Yep, they they've crossed over with Flash with with, huh. with Arrow. Um, Weird. Rip Hunter, of course. Yeah. Um, and then we did, we just we've seen other characters. I, you don't want to say too much because it's spoilers. Yeah, sure. They, they have, yeah, Hawkman, Hawk Girl. They kind of like revolve the cast yeah. and stuff like that. Hmm. Um, the Just Society of America was big, featured in there, Vixen. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, it's kind of like, you know, <laughs> shit, Firestorm. What they kind of, oh, what they kind of did, they did Legion of Doom too. Uh, oh. But what they kind of do is they. It used to be that like all the old characters from other shows, it's like ah, we don't want to know what to do with them. Yeah. Send them over to fucking Legends. Sure. And now it's like, oh my god, please take me to Legends. Yeah. Because it, 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 it's the kind of show that. It's like Rick and Morty. It can literally do anything at once, and it works for it. Right. Mm-hmm. They'll it go, can be bad, and I love it. Yeah, they'll go to like an emotional like death scene, and yeah. then like the next scene is just some ridiculous, crazy and, like, shit. It's so, it, you know, it's one of these things where it's like one of my favorite parts ever is there's a there's a there's an episode featuring George Lucas. Yeah. Right. Okay. Is he actually in it? He's in it. They oh, cast shit. a guy. He's George Lucas. So and what, there's, it's casted for yeah. a young George Lucas. Something happens where time aberration makes it so that George Lucas never makes Star Wars. And Ray Palmer, the Adam, loses his scientific knowledge because Star Wars was the thing oh, that caused inspired him, him. Yeah. to want to be a rocket scientist. Nice. Yeah. So you like, know? there's lots of things like that that they do in this Tolkien, series. Uh, so many they great touch stuff. on so many different things. That I was like, man, what could they do next? They could do anything. Yeah. You know, like think of any historical moment or ca- per character. They could go and see them and have a whole story yeah. based around them. A uh, uh, famous <laughs> DC villain, Vandal Savage, is in it. I mean, there's so many great okay. stuff. You remember Vandal Savage from Young Justice? Yeah. 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 He's, he's in it. Um, it's just a really, really fun show. And it's a show that we say every week, like, you know, Flash was okay this week. Oh, Flash was great. Legends is always great. Legends is always fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know some of the loudest and, and happiest laughter from you two was from yeah. Legends. Just seeing and of the course, shit that they do And, of course, we were introduced there. to the one true god, Bebo. Oh, that's why he's from. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, he's part of the Arrowverse. He's just like a... A thing they have in the background, but he was so popular they keep bringing him back. Sure, he's like and the alien they, from the Then they ran with it so hard, I can't believe it. <laughs> like the last uh, premiere, I just remember saying, "Like, I can't believe what I'm watching right." Now. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, and yeah, and John Constantine has shown up Ooh. on Legends too, who is nice. an amazing, you know, uh, the the dark Justice League dark, you know, character. So that's uh. Shoot, it's like Constantine from the game in the movie, right? Well, it's actually yeah, it's it's Constantine from. It's the character. He had a season they had on a, NBC. They had an NBC series, and they canceled okay. it a couple years ago. So when they wanted to bring John Constantine into the to Arrowverse, they're like, "We'll just get this guy. We'll grab that guy." Was it played by the same actor? actor? He, yeah, he's no, not the movie, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, it was uh, a season one. Constantine was on name? NBC a couple years ago. They ended up canceling it. Mm-hmm. So whenever they brought Constantine into the Arrowverse, they were like. They asked NBC, like, hey, do you mind? You're not doing anything with this. Could we have Matt Ryan come and be Constantine? Awesome. 
And he's like, yeah, sure. So he came and, you know, he's doing, like, at one point he's doing this spell. And he has to use a peacock feather for the spell. They, they go and they get a peacock feather, which NBC's NBC. mascot is the peacock. Yeah. And then when he's doing the spell, he uses it to scratch his back or something like that. <laughs> like, uh, stabbing himself in the back because he got canceled. You know? <laughs> I didn't really need this. He throws it off. You know? Oh, it was, see, I thought it was like a, oh, thing. Man. a I scratch my back, you scratch yours kind of yeah. thing. But okay. No, gotcha. it was it was kind of Stab just a in the play back. on, you know, kind of a gentle jab because they canceled that show. That's fun. So. Yeah, you'll you'll see a lot of jabs in like Castle. Oh yeah, for like Firefly and stuff. That's that's oh, really? uh, Nathan Fillion. Yeah. Everything that I've seen him in, I've, I've just loved. Yeah, yeah. He's a fan favorite. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely. just such a lovable guy. He is too. He's the opposite of Matthew Broderick. Yeah, you know, in I, a lot of ways. I've seen him in <laughs> stuff. Matthew <laughs> lovable. Like I've seen him in stuff, but watching Firefly with Calvin, how we're watching it, like this last episode we watched, is just like they. I, I said it in the reaction. They give him the time on a network show. To like react for seven seconds. Right. Yeah. No one ever gets that. Sure. You know, like he'll sit there and he'll carry an entire scene just with a look on his face, and it's so good. He's so damn charismatic. Yep. And the show lets him do that. Dude, yeah. watching I, that because now with Castle, like he's much older now. But watching yeah. when I watch Firefly, I'm like this guy right here could be Nathan Drake. Nathan yeah. Drake. And I could yeah. totally see Yeah, that, that's could see why it. he was always a fan favorite to play Nathan Drake when he's younger. Yeah. Yeah. Like he just like he seems like it. He, during during Firefly he has like these quips, you know, he has a lot of like sometimes it's like by the you know by the what is what is what's the skirt of his pants or whatever it is, the the phrase. Like, sure. He's just barely getting by sometimes with this or that. Skin right. his teeth. Right? Yeah, like yeah. that kind of thing. And which is very Nathan Drakey to me. And I always was like, man, Nathan Fillion back in the day would have been a great yeah. Nathan Drake. Yeah. Now he's older. Eh, I can see him as Sully. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, Bruce Campbell is Sully. Yeah, that would be a really good Sully. Yeah. Yeah. He would be yeah. an amazing yeah. Sully. He would. Bruce Campbell as Sully and uh, Brett Dalton as Nathan Drake. I Brett Dalton. Brett Dalton. I, can't, Dalton. I, can't, I, can't, I can't believe I left off the Legends team Firestorm. Yeah, Firestorm. Yeah. <laughs> Firestorm. It's like, so. maybe, maybe that's Heat Wave. Because I, I know I've seen the pop over there. I just don't know the name. No, and, like, and there's Heat a guy Wave over there with Cole fire. Played by Michael Schofield and Lincoln from Prison Break. Mm. Like the, mm-hmm. the two main characters in that. So when they, when they cast yeah. Captain Cold as that guy, he's like, I got a buddy that can do Heat Wave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. Wentworth Miller and uh, yeah. Dominic Purcell. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. That's one. Wentworth Miller. Wentworth Miller. I love Wentworth Miller. That is... He's no, such a good actor. that's too rational to my love. That's not an irrational. Vin Diesel? <laughs> no. 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 No, no. no I, I'm, interested in his, I like I'm interested in his career. I wouldn't uh, say I have an irrational love. I love him because he plays D&D. I True. love him. Yeah. But I would agree. It's not irrational. No, I mean, I, I've liked him everything I've been. Like, he just <laughs> doesn't anything. He hasn't done anything, like, terrible. Like, all his movies are they're for, like, teenagers. Christopher Lambert's been in a lot of bad movies. I love him. Yeah. Ed Harris. Oh, Ed Harris. I love Ed Harris. Oh, oh my gosh. I love the Abyss, Ed The Rock. The Rock. The Rock. Westworld. Well, I, I, I actually would, I Wikipedia Ed Harris a few years ago and downloaded a bunch of movies he was in just because of The Rock. The yeah. French Connection, right? Uh, is that is he in Ed that Harris too? or am I thinking of someone else? I'll, t- I'll tell you what, after Paul Walker died, I went back and downloaded a bunch of movies that like maybe didn't do well, but he was like, well, he was great in this. Or this was a good movie. It was just under the radar. He did a movie, like what was it? He was in Hurricane Katrina. And he plays like a father whose baby is on life, su- life support. And he had this. And, and it got good reviews, but, it, you know, it just didn't make any money. It was under the radar. Yeah. Gene, he had, Gene he had Hackman. A, he had a weird time travel movie. Yes. Did you watch that it's, one? It's called The Time Machine. Based off, uh, off Wells' book, right? I don't know. Orson Wells? I don't, yeah. I don't, maybe? Oh, no. Wait, that, I don't think that, that's no, it. No, no, you're right. That, that was Guy Pierce. Was the, okay. That, yeah, saying, he this, played it. He had a, and I actually... Uh, I started watching one time. I didn't finish it, but yeah, yeah it, was a, it was on Netflix. I watched it there, but like it was a weird because whenever that happened too, I was like, well, what else was he in that I've never yeah. seen? And I was looking and I'm like, yeah. but well, like have he's, you seen, he's good in like everything I've seen him in. Yeah, some of the movies just aren't the best movies. Have you seen Running Scared? Uh huh. No. Well, John Noble's in it, and he plays this Russian, like terrible mafia guy, and he's badass. Like at the end, he rips off his shirt. He has a tattoo on his chest. I am raw. Yeah. <laughs> like, it is so... I mean, it's... Dude, he... Okay, running Scared is the most intense movie I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, in terms of just... It never stops. I he's love good. Keanu he's always Reeves. screaming and yelling. I like, really love Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Oh, you know what? Man. I like Keanu, like, like Keanu Reeves, too. Is that why you try to copy his look, Calvin? No. <laughs> when John Wick? No. <laughs> Dracula no. is pretty tough. Devil's Advocate, pretty tough. Devil's Advocate. Yeah, pretty I, tough I think and awesome. Devil's Advocate is a loved movie, I think. I haven't seen Dracula. Bill and Ted. 
Bill and Bill Ted, Ted 2. Now there's a third Matrix. one. Matrix. Third one's They're making a third, third one. Bill yeah. I love now. The Matrix. John Wick. I haven't yeah. seen John Wick. John, John you, Wick, I've, you I've need to see. John Wick is the shit. I've heard. I've heard it's really good. It's probably... I, think, I don't know. It, it's probably my favorite action movie. I think Calvin or Shane spoiled me on something in John Wick, but I don't know for sure, so I'll have to uh, wait until I see it. Drew's kid reminded me about the person that Lessa hates that I love, Jack Black. Jack Black? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lessa hates Jack I Black. I love Jack Dude, Black. I enjoyed him in, uh, uh, what was the, Jumanji. Yeah. He, Jumanji. Like, yeah. The cast of Jumanji was pretty good. School Rock. I mean, School he's, Rock, yeah. He, guys, um, I, was, I just never loved School Rock. Never Ending he, Story 2. He's half of Tenacious D. <laughs> he's <laughs> yeah. barely in Never Ending Story. Isn't he? He's half of Tenacious D. He's the main D. villain. Is How can he? you leave that yeah. off? You can't say Jack Black and not immediately go Tenacious D, Rick. I haven't seen Tenacious I, D. I haven't seen what? it. What? What's it's a what? band. I've seen the band. Oh, what? The, the movie, though. Oh, I haven't I seen the movie. The I, I, I love the band. I'm Nacho Rocky Libre? Movie. Yeah, Nacho Libre. Yeah. Kung Fu Panda? Uh, yep. Kung Fu Panda, yeah. Yep. One, two, and three. Um, uh, the, the video game, Brutal Legend. Brutal Legend, yeah. I heard that was great. I actually bought a video game, too. Oh, I heard it was great. he's great in it. Like, great story, just fun, funny ass. Funny uh, as hell. The story's amazing. The gameplay is leaves something to be desired. What about ones like Be Kind New Wine? Where like Great. I love the concept. Love it. I haven't seen it. The whole concept is that they they work in a video rental place, and somehow they bring in some kind of giant magnet or something, and it clears out every movie in the store. Jack Black oh, gets shit. magnetized, yes. and it's his fault. Okay, so like every movie gets erased, so they end up re-recording, making their own movies, yeah, and yeah. renting them out. And right? I'm pretty sure it was called yeah. Be Kind Rewind, wasn't yep. it? Yeah. yeah. I love that one. That one was fun. Was yeah, I've movie. heard I've heard the, the <coughs> synopsis for that, but I haven't seen it. I really want to. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Uh, yeah, Air America, Iron Man, obviously. Uh... uh Heart and Soul, I think, was a movie Heart he was soul. in. That's Sherlock. Sherlock. Where he was I like can't think of anything I haven't liked him in, but I don't have an irrational love. For whatever I, reason. I just love him as an actor. I, oh, yeah. Like, I think he's a no, great actor. I, great. I love him, and I, I have a um, lot of... Tropic Thunder? I feel... Yeah. <laughs> Anthony Hopkins? <laughs> Anthony Hopkins. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Zorro? Yeah. I mean, I, there's Zorro. literally a hundred names I could be like, this guy's yeah, good. You know? I know. I'm yeah. trying to think of like a rational love for... I mean... I can think of good reasons for everybody I'm thinking of, though. Like, Clay Blanchett from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. From, you know, so like, it's like I'm, my I'm love of Tommy Wiseau so is truly irrational. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That one. Well, you have, like, a affection <laughs> for his... Like, I, I, I'd say, like, the like story... Is, the story of him is very endearing. Who is someone yes. that you so, love that not a lot of people can say that I love this person as an actor? Like, Tommy Russo for you is probably the one for you. <laughs> a lot of people hate on Kevin Costner. Like every time I'm like I love I like Kevin I Costner. love Kevin Costner. Uh, like a lot of people Robin say Hood? like I hate Kevin Costner movies. Love Robin Hood. I love Robin. I, I mean the, Robin is, Hood, Tin Cup. Oh, I love Dennis Quaid. Quaid. Dances with wolves. Oh, man? Dennis Quaid. Dude, Dennis Quaid is my dude. There, he's, he's, I brought him up before. Dragonheart. Isn't, isn't there a movie? Sure, Postman, Waterworld. <laughs> <laughs> isn't there a movie where he's like a bull rider? Who? Kevin Costner. Yeah. I have not seen that. I, if is, there is. Is such he a also thing. the the Field of Dreams? Right. Field of Dreams. Bill Durham. Bill Durham. What is that? It's a baseball movie. What Maybe about the, the Prohibition? Familiar. Untouchables. Untouchables. He's incredible in Untouchables. Sean Connery as well. See, the thing is, I, I mean, it's, it's, I can sit here and name like a thousand yeah. actors that I really like. But they're I, all I, rational I, loves. I have good reasons for them all. Yeah. No, the thing is like trying to think of what is something that you would love that no one else can say they love. Like, like Does would, it have to be a would, Hollywood actor? Like, would you say this is love? this man like a month ago? Who's Quaid? Who's Quaid? He looks like his dad. <laughs> a little bit. He's jacked as hell. He's jacked. I mean, he's ripped. He's ripped. Yeah. Ripped 70 year old man. <laughs> he's 70. We he's like 67. Fuck. Wow. What were we doing, Shane? We were Respect. coming back from the airport. Hey, look at my hair. Yeah. He's like pissed off. None of his hands. <laughs> me, me and he had Shane, all kinds of extramarital affairs. Me and Shane, we were coming Drugs. back from the airport. We were, we were doing our thing where we just like keep talking and arguing. You just talk in a stream of consciousness as long as yeah. you can to try to beat the other person. So like you, once you hesitate, then you've lost. Yeah. <laughs> and you brought up Tennis Quaid. I'm like, no, he died. And like, no, he died. He was on a ma- magazine cover. I have pictures. Like, I no, like, he's, he's dead. Alive. He, he died. He died of cancer. And, I just read a thing. And I was like, no, he's alive. He's thriving. Look at you. You're. you're no, you're no, dying every day. I'm alive. I'm alive right now. You're you're incorrect. Yeah, look, he's amazing. I, 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 get, I get checked. <laughs> 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 you're checked. You're doing that forever. On the plane. 
No, no, it was in the it was in the it was uh, in the, the car, car while you were driving. Back. Oh, is that what you guys are doing? Yeah, yeah. It's like after we left Zanesville, <laughs> they were just doing this shit. Because <laughs> whenever we were saying it, I like halfway realized, oh shit, I'm not talking about Dennis Quaid. I'm talking about the dude from Dirty Dancing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're talking about so, Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze. So I had to like I had to just keep going, you know. I mean, I stop. Like, if I like stop, I lose. <laughs> Especially if you admit that well, you're wrong. Well, I thought you were just talking shit. I, well, well, I, at that point, I was. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. As soon as you said it, I'm like, nope, he's dead. I'm like, he's not dead. I think I've got one. <laughs> Jean Claude Van Damme. Love. I got love. Jean Claude Van Damme. I haven't yeah. seen a lot of stuff for them in except like the uh, the obvious. Ones. He's not a great actor, but I fire? love watching him in I films. I think I've seen everything. I love his more brother. than once. Remember the Quest? See what's good? GCB, <laughs> GCBD. That's incredible. That's, that's an amazing Rick, movie. have you ever seen The Quest? Uh, yes. The Quest is one of my favorite movies of all time. I haven't seen The time. Quest. It's, it's Moral Combat, except they can't get the license. Yep. And they just did a tournament for people all over the world. He's been in like I'm in the Mongolian. three or four tournament movies that are yeah, exactly Bloodsport. like The Quest. Bloodsport is the shit. Bloodsport, The Quest, Kickboxer. They're Kickboxer, all the same exact yes. movie. What's the Time Cop? Is that him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Time, Time Cop. Cop. Yeah. A different I, movie, but still a great one. I'd say I love Jackie Chan. Yeah. Jackie Chan is very rational. That's a rational That's the thing, though. Who is someone that you love that most people would say that that's a terrible person? Why would you like them? Like, they're a terrible actor or a terrible whatever. Yeah. I mean, does it have to be love? Can it be hate? I mean... (laughs) Well, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that defeats the purpose if you just hate them. Yeah, I mean, that's I mean, do I have to limit it to a Hollywood well, actor? No, wait, we already went through people we hate. Yeah. Like, he hates Matthew Broderick, he hates Tom Cruise. Mine was like a Will Ferrell thing. Yeah. He hates that lady who wouldn't give a heart to a little boy in John Q. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really a hater, I'd say. Like, I hate, I hate, real, saying, I hate yeah. real people. Like, I'm not you a hater. I mean? You two hate Margaret. Yeah, but that's a, yeah, that's not right. That's, that's not a rational. Yeah, and I'm sure that's a character. That's not what we're going for. That's the thing, though. Like, it needs to be an irrational hate. I don't know if I can limit it to just a Hollywood actor because no. you have well, I mean it could be like a TV there's actor. There's literally nobody or... that I would hate. No, yeah. except no, for that's like why fucking... on, That's why now we're on love. Because you, okay. I don't think you had one that you hated, right? No, I, I, I did. I didn't. But like, I don't know. Like, the reason I don't hate them is the reason I can't really love them. Like, I can love their work, but I, themselves. I, I rationally love any wrestler who turned into actor, no matter how bad. Yeah. It doesn't matter. The fact that they were a wrestler, I will watch their movie and I will enjoy it. Triple H. Sure. John the Marine. Cena. Triple Boy, H was the a rough Marine, one. really. Triple H. But yeah. I did Triple it. H in the, the Marine in the, is one of the movies. He was in Blade Three. That I walked yeah. out truly I thinking, who? man, that movie kind of sucks. Wasn't Triple H also on one where like he was like good. a thief and he was like chaperoning some kids on the a bus? The chaperone. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah another yeah. one. The yeah. chaperone. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Movie's terrible. No, but any rock movie. But like Hulk Hogan, Roddy Piper, you guys yeah. need to watch Hell Comes to Frogtown. Oh like, my yeah. gosh. O- obviously, um, They Live is incredible. And, like, no one can debate that They Live is an awesome movie, and he's great in that movie. But Hell Comes to Frogtown has the weirdest premise. Like, the Earth is sterile, basically. It's like, <laughs> a, and only a few men can produce children. So, like, they hunt those people down, and they're like special agents to go and fuck women to increase the population, yeah. right? And so he's one of those men. And, like... But it's also in like this wasteland where there's like these terrible frog creatures because of all the nuclear war and everything. Like it is an incredible movie. Sounds like a fantasy I had one time. Sounds crazy. <laughs> Sounds I'm the only crazy. man who can bring population. That's back. crazy. It's crazy when movie. you brought in the frog people. <laughs> I'm like, it's nuts. Oh, <laughs> that, man. That's why it's, it's like Mortal Beach. Down because <laughs> because the frog steals all these women and he has to go get them back and then fuck them, <laughs> whether they like... w- w- whether they want to be or not. Okay. Which is kind of weird. Rude. That's yeah. Really That's but really they all want it's to. It's part of the population. Um, it's a very silly greater movie. good I saw kind of thing. I saw Darcy right. Pets. Like hers is like she hates uh, Gilbert Godfrey. I don't know who that is. Oh, okay. Godfrey. he's the voice Iago. of Iago. Yeah, he's in um, Problem Child. He's, he's the in, principal. He's, he's got a child. hell of a voice. He's in Beverly Hills Cop. Uh, Jeff. Two... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, like yeah, I get it. Okay. I can yeah. see hating Joe Pesci. I don't. Joe Pesci? <laughs> casino? Uh, I, uh, yeah, Casino is really good. I like Joe Pesci. Yeah. Like, he's not one of those actors that I, like, search out every film that he's ever done, but every time I see him, I, I just love his performance. Because he's yeah. so believable. It's some angry little man. How's <laughs> <laughs> that noise? I don't know. It's static. What it is? One noise. It's your laptop. Oh. Oh, okay. Is it the fan? It sounded yeah, like, you know, when fan. you have like a carbonated thing, it's like it's barely open. <laughs> I was fucking doing this. 
<laughs> were you doing it again? <laughs> yeah, he was doing it again. <laughs> I saw you like, like I thought you were just gonna open it. You just like held it there. <laughs> yeah, I picked he was it listening up to, to listen. It. I love so much that video. Of the phone <laughs> ringing. You're yeah. just picking up. You're just picking up all these phones. <laughs> yeah, there's your irrational <laughs> love of something. That's not irrational. That's, that's, irrational. Irrational. that's not irrational. You're making <laughs> fun of a disabled person. You've never done that. We're not making fun of it. We no. just love it a whole you lot. Were at the mall one time and that person no arms. I make fun of double, him. You call him double stubble. I never said that. I didn't <laughs> I mention him, but I'd make fun Jeez. of him. No, that was I mean. just said it was weird that, was that mean. he was making fucking 90 green turns. <laughs> Aaron, what was that joke that you made when we went to that Smash tournament and that really short guy was there? Oh, no. Yeah, what was it? <laughs> oh. There was something I said. I can't remember what it was. And I turned around and there was like a... Mm, how, what do you call a him? Little a little person. person. Little person. A little, a little person. person. He was a very really short <laughs> you guy. You were there. so close. He was like three I was foot like, eight. <laughs> what yeah. did I say? I can't remember. It was. But I remember turning to you we and just laughing. like wanting to slap you. I, no, everyone else was laughing. We I was so angry. Hard. I can't remember what it was. And then I laughed. What was this? It was, it was when we went to the Smash tournament. It was an MOG. Okay. We went to MOG for Smash. Yeah, you said to me, and I was like, I can't believe you made a joke this good. <laughs> what? I can't. I can't believe what. I can't remember what it was. Because then it was said again later. We were crossing the street back to our hotel, and he was over there again. He was. And then you saw him, and then you started laughing because you knew exactly what was said. But you you commented on his short. I had stature? made some comment at some point, and then there happened to be, I think, a little guy. There. Yeah, and then you. And like, then it. Then you re-referenced it. It made oh. a joke of it. Okay. And then I referenced the joke again later. Yeah. Because it was. And he never does that. Yeah. I can't Dang remember what it was. I cannot remember for the life of me. Dang it, Aaron. It was probably rude and immature. It, or, 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 amazing, or amazing. Or amazing and funny. I don't know. My God, we should put him in a birdcage. <laughs> what? <laughs> I always want to capture a small person from a birdcage. Like a kid. Yes, a kid, <laughs> like, no, an, an adult, preferably. An adult in a When I was cage. younger, I always wanted to capture one and put them in a birdcage. Like your turtles? Yes. <laughs> would you feed it? Like, oh yeah. Take care of it, or would yes. you let it go? Like, be like a like, parrot. It? It? Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like a <laughs> 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 What the hell? <laughs> Uh, you know what I mean. I I have nothing to nothing to add. To this. <laughs> I, the one thing I was thinking of is I remember being over at uh, it was at Eric's uh, sister's wedding. And uh -huh. We were in line, uh. and I had just been going through Arrested Development, like sure, all like binging through it. And I turned around, and I turned back and was laughing, and I felt so bad because there was a guy who has no arms with one like he had like one like fake arm, like mm. whatever. And the only thing I could think of was, I'm a monster! Oh, off of uh, <laughs> Arrested yeah. Development. Yeah. Bill. And I felt he's yeah. a, I he's a good away. giant eagle all the time. Yeah, his, uh, his arms were blown <laughs> off by touching uh, uh, electricity. Yeah. Electricity? Like he was yeah. working on a transformer, something went wrong, and, they, and his arms exploded. It arced through his arms and into uh, his body. It didn't yeah, kill him. He's a great guy. He's also very stubborn. He, like, he works all the time. He's got his own damn farm. You know, but but he has that. You know, I don't know. He's able to like hook his shoulder in a way that he can control his arm, like he can control like the the angle it's at, and then he can control the hook. But one time, we uh, is when we were driving to high school. Me and Zach, our friend Zach, we, we would like you know he lived in Mary, I lived in Whipple. We would meet at the pit stop, uh, and then at the pit stop we would usually go and like get like you know a drink or something like that before that before the half hour drive over to Beverly. Right. And I was in the passenger seat, and Zach was driving, and he pulled up to the, the pit stop, which is the gas station, got out, he was in there, and he, as he was coming out, he opened the door, and Bill got out of his truck. I mean, he drives and everything with it. You know, he got out of his truck, but you could tell he was having a hard time with it today, because it wouldn't go up, and he was, like, doing this to get it up. And Zach opens the door and shuts it right in his face. But he didn't see him. <laughs> he just didn't see him, you know? And I'm right, right in front of the door. He shuts it right in his face, and the guy goes and looks at him, and then he's like oh, trying to open it. Yeah. Zach gets in the car, you know, looks up and goes, <laughs> All right, go. You need to get the hell out of here right now. <laughs> yeah, was that dude? <laughs> yeah. It was just so funny because he, he would do the. He funniest... wasn't paying attention. He just shut it right in the guy's face, and he's like, oh, sh okay. He would All do right. the funniest things, yeah. like when something like that would happen. <laughs> Like, I remember one time, we were leaning against some fence uh, in town. Like, it's actually next to Washington School. We were talking to these chicks. Yeah. Okay? And we were leaning against this wooden fence, and then it broke, and he went... <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, just like, he, he would do that thing yeah. like that Rick did during the Death Note video. Like, he would just have these funny-ass looks. He'd go... <laughs> <laughs> like, like Kramer. <laughs> Yeah, no, he would do funny. I remember like, one time he was waving at someone we were driving, but I think he was left of center. And the lady was flipping <clears> him off. He went, 
I thought she was waving, but she was flipping it off. So, oh. <laughs> I think I remember the joke, Aaron. Oh, okay. I th- maybe. All right, here we go. I think okay. it was someone said, we only have a little time left until our match. And then I think you looked at that guy and said, we should ask him. <laughs> Really? Holy I don't shit. think it was that. I don't. That doesn't sound right. Is that not sure? right? I don't know. Am I? I don't know. It doesn't sound like it would be side. There's no. There's nothing redeemable about that one. I don't no, think that's it. no. There's, there's no nothing. like. Oh, out of context, this isn't good. I don't think that was it. Ah, uh, maybe it wasn't that. I heard you called him short and kicked him. <laughs> yeah, that was right. I remember that. Jeez. Uh, I'm not going to sleep until I remember. And as soon as I do, I'll tweet it out. That was good. Nine years ago? You'll tweet it that on was, your own, right? It was during <laughs> Brawl at MLG Yeah, I was like 21 or 22. See, I thought it was at the college that we went to for the tournament. At Athens? Yeah, at Athens. Mm-mm. I don't think so. Mm. No, because we were walking across the street, and we saw him again at our, uh, okay. heading to our hotel. I remember that. So I remember him being there. I remember being at... Man. I have a vague memory. I want to go to MLG here. again, because that, that's so fun. I wonder if they're going to have in Columbus again this year. Cause like I remember, like they had like the hand massages that one year when we were yeah. there for MLG for Brawl. I don't you think they've done it for years. They'd, MLG, yeah. they had it for Starcraft like a few years back. Really? Yeah. yeah. Back when I was heavy into Starcraft, which was years after doing Brawl. Yeah. But we went back up there, and it was they didn't have the hand massage. They weren't giving out free Dr Pepper every chance they could. I was Hot mad. pockets. The Hot pockets. It wasn't the same. Oh yeah. It was different. They did a jumping jack contest, mm-hmm. and Melanie won a phone because she was, <laughs> she was a fitness teacher. In a, in a wave of nerds and yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. What I mean? so yeah. she's doing jumping jacks for like ever, and it was whoever could do jumping jacks for the longest amount of time. But you had to keep doing them; you sure. couldn't stop. Huh. So I got third, <laughs> and some guy beat me, and then that guy gave up, and Melanie she's like at the end, they're like, "We have a winner." She's like, "Oh, oh!" <laughs> she kept going, like spinning around in circles. <laughs> it's just an endurance That's thing. That's awesome. Basically, yeah, it was just who could do. They, they had who could do. I always the most, hated jumping jacks. Man. They had who could do the most Fucking jumping jacks. Dick jumps up and down, and like, hated it. They had who could do the most push-ups. They had things like that, and they were giving away uh, Sony uh, Ericsson's or whatever, the, the sliders that could play games. Oh, well, yeah. I was in junior Those high school. Cool. The military came. There was this push-up competition, and me and Gus were the – we did more push-ups than anyone in our class. There's a guy, he's a senior. He was a senior. He can do, like, 100. I remember that was <coughs> the shit. <laughs> <laughs> I I, get, you're not going to believe this, but I could, I could do the most sit-ups in our class. I did over 100 in karate one time. Yeah, I, they, like, say, I, I feel like it. Rick and I used to be able to do it. I feel like, like you, you and I used to be able to do it. I was the fast yeah. in class. I could still do it. Oh, we yeah. I'm I'm was, not, That's what I said. You're not going to believe it. I was true. really good at hula hoop. Yeah. I was unusually good at hula hoop. I remember uh, it was like third grade, mm-hmm. and we were having a contest, and it was, it was like the whole class had to start. And then by the end of it, like, I don't know, five minutes later, however long it had been, it was me and like two or three girls. Yep. <laughs> that was all that was left. I think I ended up getting third. Well, they have hips. That That's when I fell in love with those hips. <laughs> Did you stare into their eyes and kept going? <laughs> oh, dude, that would have been funny. <laughs> Swaying back and forth. That's weird. Don't do that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I could see your eyes were pointing over there. They weren't even pointing at me, and it was, it's too weird. <laughs> no, no. Stop. But we only had one injury filming the Death Note, or not the Death Note, the Black Sails intro. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was a pretty good blooper too. Uh, that hurt. <laughs> that hurt so bad. Huh? That hurt so bad. What are you yeah. talking about? What are you talking about? I'm talking about Shane getting shot in the eye. Oh no, I was talking about me I was getting about like, him getting tackled on the mic into like, his elbow. Yeah. And, like, Th- that was having a concussion. On the ground. Yeah, you, you shook it off. Having a slight <laughs> concussion. Shane had a little tiny piece of metal on his eye. Psh. <laughs> yeah, that? like that wasn't good, man. <laughs> I tried to stay in character, but I was like, <laughs> <You're> like <"Gah!" laughs> He still blocked my face. Yeah. yeah. The second time. The yeah, second time. Mm-hmm. And then the, that's the one that's in the edit. That's the only one that matters. Yep. So, that's true. Yeah, it was a lot of fun shooting that. Yeah. Death, Death, Death Note was pretty things. fun, too. Death Note was fun. I've noticed a lot of people love that. I was like, I knew a hard was going to get him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, Aaron, that fuck. <laughs> Death yeah. Note was like 90 minutes of trying to figure out what to shoot and like five minutes of shooting, though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Usually it's the opposite. Because we, we did like... There's a much like different one take idea. And then another take to get the lighting right. And then a third take for safety. Mm-hmm. And we like right on, like almost every time. Yeah. yeah. It was quick. Yeah, and we were just using a little power shot camera with it too, yeah. so you didn't have to really worry about too much. And I just had Calvin hold a hold a light rather yeah, than set up a pretty light. much. <laughs> Eric was directing me of like, no, you need to look like 
ooh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you did exactly that. No, you, looked, you went, yeah. ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love when you throw it down. It's it's great. You go. <laughs> it's great because like Eric has grown so much as a director from AVR admin when he was so angry. <laughs> was I angry back then? <laughs> no, it's because you guys suck out. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It was like action cut. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah. It was very funny. Well, uh, one thing I did like in all of our action scenes, it's always like, all right, one more time. But what I really mean is one, one more, more good one. One more good one. Yeah. 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 And then if I don't, like, if you mess up, obviously you guys start again. But sometimes I'm like, yeah, one more time. Yeah. You said one more time last time. Like, I don't want to be like, because well, it sucked. You said one more time <laughs> four times ago. It's like yeah. Seth Rogen when he was doing the director's part in uh, Disaster Artist. Yeah. All right, one more time. Take 67. <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe you weren't mean so much as merciless. Yeah. yeah. Just like. Do it again. Yeah. Do it again. It's like, Eric, I got hit in the face. Do it again. You got to do it again. <laughs> I, I did that a lot with, yeah. with Aaron and Rivals. So you got to do it again. Shane a couple of times when he fell off the other side of the car grab, like, it's got to do it again. Yeah. Yeah. You, you got to think of a little hurt. Shane falling into the gravel. I hated So I'm like, it's going to hurt. <laughs> I hated the alleyway segment of Rivals as far as filming it because... I had to get the drug along the ground. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I got hit in the face with a chain. Got hit in the ankle like, with a chain. There's times that like the chain's like tied around my like ankle. I'm just yanking to it. Pull. No, it was Shane. And there's one time I had to push myself to make it look like I'm moving enough while Shane's pretending to pull. And there's one time where I'm, I push myself and Shane doesn't even I act. I was like, action! And you go, ah! You, you move your body along the concrete floor ah. and Shane's in the back going, yeah. <laughs> and then halfway through he goes, and he starts pulling. And then the next, the next time, I'm like, Shane, you gotta pull it. He's like, okay. So then the next time he starts pulling at action and he just keeps. Oh my like, God. 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 I'm like, ah, oh, my, my, my hand, my uh, ankle and foot are just waving mine. It's terrible. Yeah. It's like, you're... Uh, yeah, I thought the alley had the best stuff. <coughs> yeah, I mean, when you watch it back, it's one of the best. Seasons. I think it's the strongest yeah. part of the, of the of Rivals. I always but hated it the hand to hand. Caused the part. most pain. Well, I remember Mainly, it? mainly the hand to hand part on the ground. I just never felt like it looked real. Mm -hmm. Shane spitting all well, over your face. It definitely would have been shot a lot differently now. Yeah. yeah. You know, knowing that more experience, knowing shooting. what you do, and how now. to move the camera during an action scene, and, and you know that kind of thing. And it was always meant to, uh, like, when we got that shot, I was like, all right, I'll have to digitally just extend Shane's punch. But I, I literally only had six days to do all the effects for it before the deadline for the, L mm -hmm. the LCC. So I'm like, eh, I just won't do that. Yeah. You know. But I do love like. Gus when get, had hair. When we get our sabers back <laughs> in the second half of that, like, I love the choreography that we have in there. Yeah. yeah like, good. back and forth, and, like, we're, like, turning at our hips behind to attack and coming back and everything. I loved it. Yeah, yeah it was it was really good. That was the first time I ever pulled off a force lightning effect, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, film. that was fun. That's no, first. you had some test shots before that. Uh, bad, <laughs> terrible ones. Not yeah. seeing when you're sitting there doing this. Yeah, like well, because you have to know how to do it. Yeah, yeah but, like, they're on YouTube, so... Aren't they? Oh, I mean, on like, like Lindsay's on the old channel. On the old channel. Lindsay is like doing a like, force run too. I did a force run effect. I did a flying effect. Mm -hmm. I mean, and those were for uh, your class. Those were for the class I had with Troy. I was like, well, all this stuff Troy was teaching. I'm like, why don't I do that? I'm gonna try something else. So yeah. I'm gonna learn how to do a flash effect. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. No one talk. No. What's up? Yeah. What's up? Uh, phew, we've only got like 13 minutes left, and we haven't covered any of the topics. Oh. Yeah, there's some thing. really good ones uh, too. There are some really good ones. Once you start ones. talking about the actors you love, like well, this was yeah. going on for a half hour. Oh, for I mean, we talked about that for like an hour. That's why I was like, we need to just talk about like the actors that we love that people don't typically love. Sure. Yeah. Uh, excited to, uh, well, I'm not announcing it, but maybe announce to you guys that there's a sequel to Jumanji announced. Yeah, it already came really? out, Rick. No, Jumanji a, no. a third <laughs> yeah. one? Yeah. Is it going to be it's like... Star of the Rock. Are you serious? Okay. <laughs> I'm like, it already came out, Rick. This is old news. <laughs> it, it's it's also the going to Star of the Rock. Yep. I wonder okay. if there's any new kids going into uh, the world in, as the Rock. Jack Black, Kevin Hart, Karen Gillian, and Johnson are reprising their roles. That is Karen Gillian. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. What was that again? Huh? Off of... Uh, Nebula. Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, writers Scott Rosenberg and Jeff Pinker will return to the pin uh, to pin the sequel with the same director as well. Oh, cool. So it seems like the whole team's coming back. I okay. watched it. Interesting. But, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, well, why are they coming back? I don't care. I mean, every time every time you win the game, well, I mean, the world. I had, I had such a good natural conclusion. Well, does the world I, reset? 
Yeah, like, yeah. that's such like a if you natural conclusion. Press new game, does yeah. all the sure. shit happen I bet happen the next again? one will be a mobile game. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck. Well, the, the idea like, like, like microtransactions. Pay to like win. Yeah. See, so the idea too for it is that like they can become those same characters and have new stories with the other kids and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But is it better than having where like in in the original Jumanji, like Robin Williams. Like, that boy went into the world, lived there, and came back out. Whereas yeah. in this one, you go in and you become an entirely different person. Well, yeah, and the game also kind of, like, in the first one, the game kind of mirrored who was playing it, too. Yeah. Because the father, his father, was actually the hunter. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, yeah. it's yeah. kind of like a manifestation of well, his own fear. I mean, like this that. one could be the game escapes again. Yeah. And it's in the real world this time. And yeah. It's all of them. Well, Wall of the Rock. I would like that. Yeah, that's a good question. Rock, why, no, rock, why, why would it be the rock? That's it. possible. No, he can come out. They should, they the, should do Jumanji out VR. No, because the hunter <laughs> came out of the game into the real world as well. And the elephants and everything else. But yeah, the but kid the wouldn't necessarily be in the game, right? Or you're saying yeah, the, the hunter could have come out. I'm saying like they come out of the game. Why would the rock come out? So the rock would come out. of the game. Yeah, but he's actually the avatar of the kid. But he would be a different character, right? He wouldn't be the kid being that guy. He would be the rock. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I'm not sure how they do it, but I'm interested to see how they would do it. I'm you know what? Yeah. If it happens like that, I'm not going to be like, it's fucking writing. No, I'm not. <laughs> I, I didn't watch that last movie because of its amazing story. I watched it because it was a fun... It was yeah, a fun it was fun. It was you funny. Know? It's got a weakness. They're like, oh, look, it's bread. <laughs> like, this is cake. That's so cake. funny. This is cake. Yeah. Kevin Hart, so killed, had like Kevin Hart so killed in that movie, dude. He was so funny. <laughs> I was like, uh, I got a backpack. <laughs> he can walk with a backpack. Yeah. Everyone knows that. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> Everybody knows that. My kids loved it. I love it. I love, it. I love when everything. I'm missing the top two feet of my body. <laughs> <laughs> my, my criticism was just, I, I imagined Jumanji, but for my whole life, I imagined this terrible, dark place. Sure. That was scary, and you had all these crazy, fantastical animals, and it was just some fucking jungle with towns I mean, and... It you was real see people it in the eyes of Robin Williams, yeah. right? Like it's he had seen some shit. It's supposed to be an evil jungle, and this one was more like cartoony. Well, yeah. It was like they're in the tropics. It was like beautiful. Yeah. Like I wanted something disgusting. Yeah. Well, they had like the curse and stuff like that, and it's made it a little bit more the curse fantasy than horror. You know? Yeah. Not I, that Jumanji was a fucking horror. I was no. a little kid. Sure. You know, I'm looking at it through nostalgia glasses, of course. Oh yeah. Nope. Uh, so, also, Rational. Showtime has ordered for 2019 a Halo TV series. Oh, interesting. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Showtime. Showtime. That's interesting. Yep. Why Showtime? Showtime. They need some. Can uh, it be on yeah, Showtime? They... Rise of the Planet of the Apes is set to direct multiple episodes and also executive produce. The scripted drama will feature 10 hour-long episodes in the first season. Damn. Huh. Okay. Wow. I, I see that, but I, I didn't see it was Showtime. So it's something kind of like what like Game of Thrones or Westworld, or like yeah. ten episodes, hour long each one. Yep. Spartans. That's great. I mean, they, and it's hopefully been, The it's, Witcher. It's yeah. it's been in limbo for years. Peter uh, Jackson was attached at one point, and then he just made a right. district, whatever district, district nine, thirteen, I would, district thirteen. Or, I would yeah. love for some good but video. I thought it was district nine, wasn't it? I I love when good Maybe. video game related like movies or TV shows are are created. Yeah, yeah. Have, that happened a lot. Has there been one? I, I don't think Prince of Persia was good. I haven't seen that. It was okay. Um, the, like it just, as far it as what it followed for the game, it was a little wonky, but I mean, it can be based on. Um, I actually thought the Silent Hill movie was pretty good. I don't think I've seen that. No. But I you don't think so? I thought it was freaky as shit. It captured I love the, the spirit of the game pretty it, well. Deadly premonition. <laughs> <laughs> it was freaky. I didn't mind it as a horror movie, but some of the things, and the Silent Hill series as a, series as a whole, like after 2, it makes no sense that Pyramid Head is in anything but Silent Hill 2. I'm yeah. not going to spoil it if you haven't played Silent Hill 2. I like 3. I didn't play anyone after that, except for Shadow Memories. No, I mean, I love 3. But I'm saying the movie heavily featured Pyramid Head. Yeah. It makes no sense that he's in that movie. Well, they had a... I guess. You know? I Any, but Mortal Kombat I thought was done well. I uh, love Mortal Kombat. I love the first Mortal Kombat. I, I can't say it's a great movie. I love it. I love the Street Fighter movie. I can't say it's a great movie. I don't know. But I love, I love those one. movies. I don't know if I love that one, but I love Mortal Kombat because it's all based like, like the game should be. It seems logical. Sure. Um... Mario, I'd say, is not a good video well, game. Well, I, I heard the new Tomb Raider was pretty good. Have you guys seen I Warcraft? Seen I have not. I, I heard that was pretty good. I haven't seen it. No. I, I, wanted, it good. I wanted to. Mel and I didn't go see it. However, I don't know a ton of the lore of, World of Warcraft. Sure. Like, I've played World of Warcraft a good bit, but I don't know a lot of the lore itself. Behind you played Hearthstone. It. You're good. I mean, the I the only some. lore that I know is from <laughs> the intro from the first Warcraft game. Yeah. And I love that. I memorized it when I was like five years old. In the age of chaos, two factions. There's a Castlevania? 
movie? Or, or are you talking about the show? The the TV series, probably. The, the TV series was good. Right? Yeah. I like that. That might be the best <coughs> thing that I can think of, of like, you know, movie or TV, as far as video games go. But yeah, uh, Halo could be awesome. Yeah. I, I think. Yeah. Some, some of the animated things are really good. Like, Dead Space had, had a few animated sure. movies that were really good. They the were Resident Evil really animated good. stuff is pretty good. Yeah, Degeneration is, mm-hmm. those, oh man, those are, those are real fun. That's true. It's a good point. So, I mean, it depends on what you're looking for. As far as live action goes, like, the Resident Evil, like, live action movies weren't the, the greatest, and they got further and further from, like, the video games as yeah. the movies went along. Like, the first one and the second one were kind of yeah, there. Yeah, sort of-ish. But not really. The second yeah. one, I think, was the closest to, like, a in yeah, the games. It, it had Nemesis, right? The, yeah. The, that was the second it one. It had Nemesis. It was in Raccoon City. They were slumbering zombies, you know. And then, I don't know. Yeah. But Resident Evil 2, the game, is going to be awesome. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so excited. You don't That understand. was scary as hell. I need, to pl- I need to play uh, 7. I want to do it in I VR, want, though. I want yeah. to do it in VR. I, I, well, when I would like to as well. get stuff set up here, set up the back room for a VR room. Well, the, as far as I know still, they only have it for PS4. Well, we could we could get it. If we're gonna do that, we might need to get PS4 VR. But we do have the HTC Vive. Yeah. But yeah. Supposedly it's supposed to be coming to Steam for VR. I hope it does. But I, I think know. it's supposed to be like I don't August. Know. It's weird. Right? V- something like VR, that. VR. I feel like it just it, the industry hasn't. I mean, hasn't grown a lot. Like in terms of all these big well, games I mean, coming I mean, out. It has a high entry price. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's why it hasn't really like, taken off. It's like 4K TVs. Like it's gonna get cheaper and cheaper as yeah. it goes. But 4K is slowly growing. Like 4K has been around for years, but yeah. it hasn't been anything that people have in their homes. I, I think it's everywhere. like I think something the other day. I think seventy percent of the TVs now are 4K. Yeah, I was saying it's been around for yeah, years. But though. Like yeah. five years ago, but it, it was yeah. freaking expensive. It's the same with like flat screen TV, flat screen HD TVs. When I bought the first one that I have right now, it's a fifty-five inch. I probably paid like it was a pipeline work. I probably paid like three thousand, four thousand for it. I don't know. Four thousand. It was three thousand. I don't know what it was. It, but, was. it was expensive as hell. Now you can get those things for like six hundred dollars. I mean, there's yeah. a lot more TVs. And they're thinner. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But I paid a lot back in like 2008 for it. And the color range is better, and the, and the blacks are darker. Yeah, it's like. probably it probably wasn't for that. It's probably like 3,000. It, it was probably like 2,999 or something. I don't like figure that. it'll get huge until it's like works on the iPhone or the Android. Free VR? Yeah. So, I mean, they have some VR stuff for phones. A little. But that's yeah. like how I figure it'll get the biggest general population. Like when they can know. figure out how to integrate with. With, with smartphones. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of what I figured. Um, a good one we missed, Final Fantasy VII, Advent Children. Yeah, I saw someone just mention that in chat. Advent Children was really good. Yeah, Advent Children is great. It is fantastic. But it's not, it's, it's not even... Well, I, I guess it's it's in the conversation, but it, it's... Like, what I was talking about was, like, adaptions. This is, like, a direct sequel to the game. And sure. it's absolutely fantastic. Did you see the uh, the director's cut? Not yet. It's better. It's I've heard. Explains Dow's got, story. The fight's longer. It's got 15 minutes more for like Sephiroth it's, and Kyle, it's, right? It's, gr- it's great. <laughs> Just more time for more fight. Well, that song, like the one with Angel oh, Team, it's Lord. like the greatest fucking song I've ever heard. Yep. Like, yeah. Almost as, well, it's probably even better than the My Hero song. <laughs> Maybe, I guess. I don't know. I don't Tough have an say. emotional connection to it. Like you do. The My Hero? My Hero. No, the one with Angel Team. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we got about four minutes left. Yeah, I was going to read out Ugh. some donations and stuff, I guess. Awesome. All right. Mortal Kombat. A good movie. I love Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat is pretty good. Ed Boon is involved in that one. We saw Ed Boon again over at uh, LS. Was he involved in yeah. the movie itself? Yeah. Was he involved in the second movie? Probably. <sighs> <laughs> Why? Was the second movie worse? It's just not, it's not as good. No, uh, it changed, it changed uh, I mean, my dude, Johnny Cage. So much worse. Like, like the, again, the, the, the I first... love it. It's terrible. The yeah, first movie barely, ends you, with this whole this cast looking up at the sky, <laughs> and there's the evil emperor. The second movie, and then they, and then like <laughs> it ends. It's cliffhanger. Second movie in, uh, begins with the same cast turning around looking at the evil emperor, but yep. they're all different people. <laughs> they're all different actors, <laughs> except what? for Luke Kang. Yep, Luke oh Kang and Katana gosh. were the same Katana. people. Yep. Yeah. Raiden, Johnny Cage, Sonya Blade, they were all different. Yeah. And then you really look different too, like his hair. No, they cut it later. Okay. Right? And then they killed off the best character. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna say you barely noticed that person was different. Because they were gone real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. We have per reviews. 10 bits. Good podcast as always. Woo, thank, thank you. you. Um, Kirito. 100 bits. Okay. Favorite anime or cartoon voice actor. Mine is Johnny Young Borsch and Bryce Pappenbrook. 
Um, hmm. Cartoon it, voice actor. Well, yours mm. is the guy that you're in love with, right? The Star Wars guy. John Noble. No. Oh, Sam Witwer. Sam Witwer. Oh. Yeah. yeah, he's he's a wonderful voice actor. No, he's it's not for sure. my favorite voice actor of all time. I mean, I I, I love Sam Witwer, but I put Mark Hamill in front of him. Oh yes. Yeah. I mean, Fire Lord, Ozai, the Joker. Yeah. I like yeah. David Hayter. David Hayter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's so many. Like, I don't know. I yeah. Mean, I guess maybe anime Mark Hildreth. Okay. He played Hiro Yui and a few other things. Mm-hmm. Dude, ones like Steve Bloom and stuff that are in like so everything. much Steve stuff. Steve Bloom is amazing. Well, does everything. Jim Hank Cummings. Yeah. Jim Cummings Steve does Bloom, so much. Christopher Sabat. Yeah, some yeah. of those guys are just amazing with their voice. Mark Hamill does so much stuff, and sometimes you can't even tell it's Mark Hamill. Yep. Sometimes you can tell, I like, guess, just the Joker in a different role. <laughs> yeah, uh, I really like like Dan Castellan, uh, Hank Azaria, mm. those guys that have been in sure. Simpsons animation for mm. decades. Phil Lamar. <laughs> yeah, Phil Lamar, Phil Lamar is one of the yeah. best voice actors in the world. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, he Kit Fisto. He played Kit Fisto in the Clone Wars. Really? Yeah. He <laughs> does animal voices. Hello, General. <laughs> <laughs> he does animal noises better than yeah. animals. <laughs> yeah. uh, Saladin gives a hundred bits, saying there's going to be a Witcher Netflix series. Rick, I know. I want Vane to play the Geralt. Yeah, Charles Vane. Thank you. <laughs> Zach McCallum. You want Vane to play him? Zach yeah. McCallum? He wants okay, Zach I thought you said Flint before. No, Vane. Vane. Said, Vane. Okay. Yeah. Vane. Uh, World's Greatest Detective. 100 bits. WaveCon UK 2019, please. Ooh, it would be awesome. That would be awesome. Um, Ater Nanix has resubscribed for 12 months. Hey, Thank one you, year. Bishop. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Uh, damn it, Rick. My name is world's greatest defective. <laughs> defective? <laughs> Not detective. Yes. Detective. With another 150 bits. Okay. The detective dude is Bruce Wayne. Sorry, I'm in a bad mood as England just lost a World Cup match to Belgium. Oh, no. I saw that. I'm sorry, sorry about that. Biggest Dickus, 75, has resubscribed for 12 months. <laughs> biggest Dickus! I don't know why I went. Thank you! <laughs> Whatever his biggest Dickus. For the 12... Months. <laughs> His message is congrats on the expansion downstairs. So Thank cool you. to see you grow. Will we maybe see your sword collection displayed again? No! Yep. There's a yeah. possibility as long as we can get permission. I think it'll happen. Yeah. But now we have more room. They're quite heavy. And yeah. Finishing like nails won't be quite enough. Yeah. So. Yeah. Jasmine Booth resubscribed for four months. Yeah, Thank, Jasmine. You, Jasmine. Thank you, Jasmine. Hicks NBA, a frequent on my Witcher stream. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I just scrolled past him. Where did he go? There he is. 50 bits. Have you guys seen the VR game Beat Saber? Yep. Yes. Looks awesome. And do there you think were... Shane would be good or bad at it? Um, uh, Shane I, would be bad at he it. He can't probably, feel a beat. Yeah. yeah. And, and he probably also would get motion sickness. Yeah. 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 That's so true as well. I might. Terrible. Yeah. I might. And I don't think he can handle a saber very well. It's a VR beat mm. game. Well, I, th- I think he might like start traveling across the room and start actually hitting the wall Honestly, or it would be the best I've, I've way of few... him being able to feel a beat. Yeah, that's true. Really need to a saber? Yeah. Echo Dolly, 100 bits. I can't stay, but wanted to give these biddies. Aww, oh, thank you, thank you. Echo. Sorry you're not thank here. Thank you, Echo. Thank you. Kirito, 200 bits. Hey, I just wanted to tell you thank you, Calvin, for talking to me on Discord. Oh, it's been rough since I lost my job, so thanks for t- taking the time for talking to me. I'm feeling a lot better. It's hard trying to find a new job. I get you, That's man. We wish you the best of luck. Yeah. Yes. You need a reference? We'll give you one. Go find someone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Starkiller, we're great one liars. We are. Starkiller 100 has resubscribed for three months. Thank been, you, Starkiller. Thank you, Starkiller. Been watching awesome. now for over a year. Ooh. Watching your reactions after work is the best. Yeah. Thanks for the quality content and I, laughs. I don't do that after work, so I don't know, but good. <laughs> you, you don't watch your videos after work? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guardsman117 has resubscribed for two months. Thank you, Thank Guardsman. You Guardsman. Thank Nate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, more than two months, but hey, hey, you guys are rulers of the universe. Isn't that and like a... Here we are. We're the rulers of the universe. I don't know, I don't know what's going on right now. Top screen, 100 bits. You see the, Thank trailer, you top screen. You see the trailer for Bohemian Rhapsody? Yeah. Yeah. I'd say that trailer looked pretty fucking cool. Let's see how that the movie goes. I think I saw it when I saw Deadpool. Okay. Yeah. I'm trailer. Yeah. Don't know what Tom. I, I don't know either. Mm. Saladin, 100 bits. Thank you, Saladin. Thank you, Saladin. Salahadin. Salahadin. Jambus, resubscribed for four months. Jambus, Jambus. thank you. Jambus. Your name sounds like an awesome kind of food that I would want to try. It does. Jambos. Hello, guys. Nice to see you as well, he says. Uh, he got, he, he's come down with a case of the Jambus. Ooh, Jambus. I don't, I don't know. 
Yeah, Alex <laughs> Italian gives 400 bits. Thank you. Have to get to work. Hope it's a great S- podcast. Stop poking with usual. your jambas. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what was it when we were about flaccid? Flaccid. Yeah. I was like poking you in the face. Like, yeah. It'd be like this. <laughs> no. Like, come <laughs> poking me with your flaccid dick hands. I'm not uncomfortable. Let's oh, we were talking about Vikings, right? Have forget. a look at the slaps. It's been a bit. Oh, no. I have some from 18 days ago. I should refund We should those. refund those. Oh, yeah. You should probably. But I do have one for today oh. from Aramaic. Who sent us something special in mailbag? Yes, he did. Oh. So Thank you, Aramaic. Check that out Sunday. Yeah, that's <clears> awesome. a slap. Yeah. Aaron slapped Shane oh. for not Jeez, understanding Shane, the Civil War or the homeless. <laughs> Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> what the Cal- hell? California. What the hell's going on here? Civil War reenactment. <laughs> Shane, <laughs> homeless. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what's that? What's that sticking out? What? Oh. <laughs> I was gonna hit Trying your head terrible into noise. his face. Poop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Fun as always. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you're watching this or listening to it later, be sure to join us live Thursdays at east at three o'clock Eastern at Standard east time. time. Also, there's blind wave time. West. Yeah. We'll get that change. Damn it. West time. Lobby. What? Lobby. West. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank Bye, guys. you. Love, love, love kissing hugs. Time. Bye.